Hello, everyone. How y'all doing today? Hello. Howdy. Hello. 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 Greetings, hello. salutations, and hello, and welcome to the old wall. Uh, we're diving in today because we got a we got a finale and we got some cool stuff happening. But before we get started, uh, I would inquire upon Naomi one last time if there is a <laughs> recap that you Stop have for it. us. I'm emotional. Well. Oh my God. <clears throat> I'm scrolling to find the text. There was a lot of throat clearing last go. time. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Session 15. We went to sleep. It was 15. Sorry. Anyways, go on. We leveled up. Wow. We got many cool things. Gareth and Marius got to do some pretty intense blacksmithing. Breaking down and building up cool things, we all got upgrade. Cheats removed her leggies so that they could be upgraded too. <laughs> Marius made some leg jokes. Cheats tried to pull a little prank as if putting the legs back on hurt. Marius did not fall for it. Vizika made tequila. And uh, <laughs> that was about it. That's what you thought. <laughs> I forgot about the tequila. But I didn't. I didn't. Da, 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 we had a very long da, da, crafting da, da. session. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. That was your last da, recap. Tokila. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, then, let's go ahead and begin. I just, uh, you cannot switch scenes until they. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, it, it is time, then, my friends. Let's go ahead and get started. What do we do? I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Our travels begin as you depart from the old <laughs> wall. Your destination uh, is the Moon Cairn, right over here, uh, where the Shadow Steps are located. This is your immediate access to the Shadow's Breach. Your entire objective of this campaign was to go uh, to the Dark Ends and head over to the Shadow Steps in the hopes to find a gatekeeper that would be assigned to you to slay. By slaying the mighty gatekeeper, a powerful entity uh, from the Shadow Vale, you would be able to return with heads held high back to Kolkirk, earning yourself a full commission as Shadow Hunters. However, a couple of things along the way has prevented you from immediately getting there, but one of the more important things that have happened here at the Old Wall is that you have had to dispatch of your fellow hunters uh, who seem to have been influenced by some unknown entity lost in some sort of madness. But they have been dispatched, your equipment prepared and well forged, and if you are ready, you may now continue your journey. Are you ready? I am ready. I'm ready. It's about two days travel before you guys arrive over into the dark ends. And as you enter it, you actually see that this is a well established, uh, a sort of like this well established fortress, I, I, would, I would say. Um, the walls itself fortify around this uh, sort of small makeshift village. Uh, where there are several buildings kind of standing all around. And an eerie silence falls over the location. Entering past the gate and arriving in. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we're, it's, we're not, there's not a map to go into here mm. or reasons but you will arrive over there and yeah this eerie silence has fallen over the dark ends you guys were instructed that you would be meeting with a uh, outpost of hunters where you would be be cast your gatekeeper but no one greets you at the front gate no one greets you at all what do the walls look like upon our approach They're, they are well built of masonry stone but if you're asking the question, does it look like this place has been sieged? The answer is no. 
And the, the gate thief. still holds? The gate is wide open. Oh, that's good. That's always wonderful. That's great. Right. Marius pulls out his hammer. Vizik is going to go nose first, and she's kind of sniffing around for any kind of signs of recent life and activity. You know, fresh food smells, you know, like people have been living and eating and cooking around here, you know, mm -hmm. as people do. Um, anything like that. Or like, you know, the, the recent, you know, human sweat or other waste. You know, mm -hmm. so she's going to... People? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Oops. Oh. Actually, a good oh. point. Give me one moment, please. Maybe, just, just maybe. I may have something a little more visual for you. Oh, oh my god! Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Oh my! I can't be. Let me tell for you that. Me? Honestly, the best way I feel like to handle uh, DMing uh, is to tell your players you don't have something, and uh, just, just. Just lie to their faces. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then true, you have brother. Mediocre. True. <laughs> and, then, amazing. and then be just kidding. I have the bare minimum to run the game. And you go, oh, my God, you are. <laughs> I've exceeded every wow. expectation. You I've have. exceeded your expectations <laughs> by dropping Proud them you. violently low. <laughs> I feel that, brother. I got you. That is my strategy as well. Wow. <laughs> just lower expectations. Uh, I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing a. I'm checking. I'm looking. I'm inspecting. Because I could give you theater of the mind, or I could take you. I'm doing just doing a little little looky loo here, making sure we're good. <clears throat> uh, oh, one one moment. One moment. Apologies as well. A uh, couple. One moment, please. One moment, please. One moment. Please wait. Please wait. System processing. Wait. 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 I Holy. hate, wait. and, I, and wait. this this is more for Crowned. I hate the fact that by default, Fog of War is on because I don't use Fog of War. And so when no. I turn it off before I act, you know, activate a map, there's all these like remnants of what has been here <laughs> prior. And I'm like, I don't want that. I don't like that at all. Shades um, and everything. Yeah. But, all right, we're ready to go. Yes, so the gate is gate is completely wide open now. I did uh, mistaken a couple of things here. Um, can you guys see uh, <gasps> yes, over here? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, th is that there is a bit of siege, but the only reason why the siege is here or some siege damage looks like has taken place is these are the remnants. These are the ruins of the old kingdom, um, and in its place, using its material, this outpost. Has been built. But yeah, you'd arrive to an eerie silence that falls over the land. Vizika still does the sniffing. All right, so you're sniffing Fix around. It. Feel free to move around as you need to. And yeah. what are you sniffing for exactly, Vizika? Any any signs of recent life, namely food. People mm. have been cooking and eating, then that means they have been here recently. Or, you know, alternatively, where people are, uh, people need to use the bathroom. So, you know, any smells of recent people. Understood. But mostly food. And you've also given me that perception check, which is lovely. Th that, yes. As you sniff around the area, snorting, trying to discover of there, uh, off, you would smell it, the familiar tinge of iron in your nostrils, of blood recently <gasps> spilt to the north. Oh. I think there's been fighting here recently. I smell blood. Oh. Yeah. Fresh where, blood? Where is it coming from? Kinda. Up there, she points. That does not bode well. Yeah, I don't smell food. Stay together, be ready. Gareth is uh, branching his uh, sword and shield mode. I don't know if that's already reflected on his character. Uh, I can I can reflect that upon you. Give me one Thank moment, you. please. And we'll make sure that we do get that all reflected. Just doing a couple of things over here. We don't like this. Couple of adjustments. Something's wrong. We're supposed to be greeted here. 
something must be amiss. Of course, Mikhail and the rest of them ran into something. Your oh. armor class has been reflected. Them. 22. Thank you. Thank you. It would be no surprise either, given that the warden escaped our grasp. Mm. Just be ready. Let's move together. Maybe there's some people hiding out. And there you see it, the old inn. Um, that is, checking my notes, the last light inn where typical uh, joyful merriment is had as you'll see the signs of spilt blood at the door. Are there any windows on the side I could look in? Oh, I see one way down there. Yeah, and yeah, there is, and you're and looking, there. and you can look through it right there. Zeke is going to scuttle up to it, too. Gareth, perhaps yes. it's best if Cheats or Vanya go. Certainly. Try and stay quiet. Okay. Yeah, Cheats will bend down and on the rim of each side of her legs, she will push this button uh, that disengages the compressed air and causes the joints to step silently. And then, yeah, you begin to gracefully walk around the area. Go ahead and give me a stealth check. This will be the check that you do uh, throughout your exploration. Very Ooh. good. So uh, you'll kind of hear the, the the last sound you'll hear from Cheats is the compressed air that just releases from her legs. And as she begins to silently step forward, you'll hear nothing at all. Cheats, as you look through the windows, you will see the bloodshed that has been scattered throughout the tavern as the bodies of shadow hunters seems to be displaced all within. There is no movement. Yeah, her, her eyes grow wide as she searches through, stepping slowly onto the different pieces. Yeah, this, this silence just sort of falls over the entire area as you look at the lifeless bodies from within. But other than that, as you kind of like look around within the area, uh, this place looked to have been very well established as a sort of bastion point for the Shadow Hunters before they dived deeper within to, into the breach into the Shadow Vale. Uh, a place of, of respite for hunters that needed that. This is probably the one of the more stressful positions is guarding the breach. And these were its guardians. But if there is no sound to be held and all you see are the bodies scattered from within the tavern, there is a worry that the, bre the breach may be left unprotected. Yeah, she will, upon seeing that, she will walk against this wall eyeing the window to get a better view. Yeah. You'll just even see more bloodshed as bodies of the Shadow Hunters scatter across the tavern. Yeah, she will fingerprints up of the glass as she peers in until she just slowly lowers back down. Her head is hung for just a moment as she steps back towards the party. What did you find? Just bodies. Bodies everywhere. Bodies? It's... Yeah. Bodies. Shadow hunters. No aggressors. Hmm. Blood and, and bodies everywhere. What the hell happened here? No, but if they're in there, then. Who's gotten the breach itself? Who knows what presence has poured through since they were defeated? You said it sounded like it was, or it smelled like it was freshly spilled blood, Vizika? Yeah, fresh. 
fresh ish. <laughs> Not too old. I'd like, to, I'd like to just be certain. Hmm. I'm going to take a sample of the blood. See how recent it is. Excellent. I'll join you. How do you, uh, how do you test for the sample of the blood? Uh, pulling out his tinkering tools uh, and using a spare vial, uh, he is going to uh, sort of like testing the uh, the levels uh, of this blood. A, testing if it is uh, undead blood, if it is the restless, or if it is like humanoid blood. So testing to see uh, which category that falls in and then its freshness. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a Tinker's Tools check. Uh, that uh, That is sufficient for me. Excellent. Uh, so using your Tinker's Tools and kind of analyzing the blood, uh, here are some of the data points that you find. It is that of a living, or was, uh, that of a living humanoid. And it appears to be... Uh... Trying to calculate time real quick. A few <laughs> days old. No, sorry. A little over a week old. Which very much aligns oh. with your meeting of the other shadow hunters. Pulling back uh one of the sort of soiled strips that has the the tested blood on it from his kit. Uh, you would hear this sort of mechanical hum that comes from it, and then an audible uh, sort of soft chirp that comes from the machine. And as he reads it, there's like the slack of the shoulders. Whoever was here before us perished about a week ago. This is humanoid blood, not restless. My guess at the very least, is that Mikhail and his party are one of the only ones who were affected. You think they did this? He gestures for you to continue. Hmm. You think Mikhail and his party were responsible for this then? If not Mikhail, then another band. If hunters can turn on hunters, then we should say the same didn't happen here. Hold on, I don't see uh, Vanya or Cheats. Okay. As you turn around the corner, the you'll watch as they are continuing deeper within the city. Uh, Cheats, you will take note of the hooded statue over here. A depiction, a very popular depiction uh, amongst the hunter, uh, amongst the shadow hunters, of uh, uh, of, of Nexi, of uh, Nexaveri. <laughs> <laughs> How That's do you a very a skin gel lesson that? Yep. I really like gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> you will see That's a what statue. It says on the base. It just... <laughs> yeah, I really <laughs> like gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> For our uh, viewers at home, that was the character that uh, Naomi played in Phase Two during Ooh. Hunters of Iron. Oh, oh, inspired you, oh, oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> Try not to stray too far, you all. Should we investigate their corpses, perhaps, for any supplies? Some part of me believes that would be best. But... Who's to say their equipment hasn't already been taken? That's fair. Time is short, and if the breach is not protected, we need to get over there as soon as possible. Uh, you are free to explore the village. I will also let you know if you wish to cross through. Um, I will take you uh, to the. I will take you back to the map if you're looking to save time. But ultimately, up to you. Zeke like, like hops up and down here, trying to see inside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my. 
Gareth is interested in this giant crystal and is going to... That is a approach. source of, uh, of shard power uh, that is typically used throughout all of Io. It's what generates mm. energy and power uh, to give you the conveniences of things like cooling and electricity. Uh, these gems are modified so that they are able to work uh, within uh, Asmodia. Uh, for mm. those of the more studied mind, Asmodia has very heavy interference with shard power, and that's probably because of its its uh, inability or its difficulty uh, to access with uh, the Dietic Veil, where the energies mm. arrive. So these are very heavily altered uh, shard crystals. Um, that actually can only give a limited amount, a fraction of power than it usually can. Ooh. Zeke is gonna sniff around in this tent. Is there anything in here, any supplies that we could use? As you look within the tent, uh, you will see uh, an unmade sleeping bag. It looked like someone had rushed out of here. But as you look around, uh, you will see a variety of mundane weapons uh, easily accessible to hunters and guards uh, if the uh, if 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 the alarm is is sound. Mm. You are free to take those weapons, um, but they do not compare to your magical weapons. There's more stuff here to, you know, melt down. Um, don't know if the bad guys can use it. But we should at least get it on the way back. Yeah, good point. I don't think I'll carry any for now. Don't want to weigh myself down. You got anything over there, Vanya? There is what seems to be a tool shed of sorts. You'll look inside within, um, and it is one of the various storage rooms uh, that would house uh, basic armaments and equipments. Uh, once again, for any of the guardians or any of the shadow hunters that are here, if something were to, if something were coming through the breach or something were under attack, it's really important that everyone that is here, including those that are considered commoners, uh, to arm themselves and prepare for battle. Uh, every member or every, yeah, every, uh, citizen of this small area, um, it by default must be enlisted in the militia uh, because of its vicinity to the breach. All right, what is everyone else doing? Can, can I gonna... assume that it's open or like locked down? Because I would like to try to enter this. Uh... You can open it. Fine. What are you looking for exactly within the supply shed? I'm looking for anything that stands out. Anything that doesn't look like junk. You know, like not anything that it has been dusted throughout decades. Just As you explore throughout the shed, uh, you will find uh, nothing but the mundane items that had mentioned before. Kind of walking through here, you will see Plenty of boxes filled with mundane weapons and armaments. Um, but as you explore through the boxes, uh, you uh, will uh, take note of four healing potions that may come in handy later. Ooh. Ooh. May I take them? You may. Uh, give me a moment. You will have acquired four potions of healing. And placed in your inventory. Much appreciated. What is everyone else doing? Zeke is gonna climb to the top of the statue, or try to, uh, to get a look around. As you scatter up the statue and take a note of the shoulder. Uh, you'll see carved in the face of Nexi within the statue. Give me a She's wisdom gonna... saving throw, oh. please. Oh. Ooh. Uh, saving throw. Uh, wisdom. Yes, please. Wisdom saving. Oh. Wow. <laughs> God damn. As you look into the eyes of a statue for just a moment, almost as if to observe its features, you'll find yourself looking 
a little longer than normal at these objects, and it isn't because of its intricate carving or, or work of art. Something about the face feels familiar to you. And you get a sudden feeling of, of deja vu. <laughs> Not necessarily here, but... She's going to kind of sniff at it. And oh, with that, the moment you're passes. You're a friend. And she's going to climb to the top of the head and kind of plop down and look around. See if she detects any motion from this vantage point. I don't know how tall the statue is, but... Investigation, please. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, charisma investigation. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll begin to take, kind of like take a look around the area and you see no movement. Uh, this village seems to be uh, completely abandoned or at least that of living life. No signs of restless warming around. No pending shadowy invasion. Just silence. And off to the north, there is where you see it. The first time within your perspective. The breach to the Shadow Veil. It quite literally looks like it is a f fabric torn entering into a completely new and alternate world. You'll see all color is devoid of within the breach. Um, as it kind of it seems a little familiar to Asmodia. But there is a heavier darkness within. And you'll see that to access it, there is this intricate set of, of of stone bridges and ascending staircases that seem to defy all uh, engineering know-how. It's almost as if the area closest to the breach within those staircases uh, don't follow modern physics of, of, of energy and transference. It is a place of danger, and that is where you need to go. She shivers and all of her fur stands on end. And for once, she doesn't say anything and scampers down. What is, um, actually, let me go back to Cheats because I see Cheats has scattered over here. Cheats, what are you huh? doing? Uh, I'm looking for, like, or Cheats is looking for places where people would hide. So you're doing like an investigation just to see if there are survivors perhaps hiding around, is yeah. that correct? It's like trying to find people or evidence of people in places she would hide if she had to. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. I'm great at those. <laughs> You'll spend some time scattering around the area, um, looking in old boxes, uh, anything that might be ajar, just something that would make sense to you. And while everyone else is sort of looking through these areas, inspecting the town, trying to discover more, through that entire time of this interaction, you do not spot a living soul. Damn. And that will take you the entire time that everyone else is exploring and, and looking around here, because it is a lot to investigate. Uh, what is anyone else doing? I would like to investigate this big tent here. You'll kind of look over within the tent. Uh, you'll see upon the table uh, map, uh, maps of Asmodia uh, with several areas and holdings of where the shadow hunters are in certain areas where there have been um, activity uh, within invaders from the Shadow Vale. Uh, very militaristic. Uh, you may or may not understand it if you have uh, understanding of military plannings. But you'll just kind of see these tokens like scattered around the map. Um, you'll see a couple of half draken uh, glasses of, of, of grog. Uh, clearly, whoever was commanding here were drinking and plotting. Um, but the same as before with any tents that you look into, uh, you'll see chairs knocked over as if there was something had happened um, that caused people to respond. Um, and there has been a bit of a scuffle. That's all you pretty much find within this tent. Hmm. Anyone else? Uh, with us. Zeke a... is going to yeah, run go up on. and jump, jump up on, uh, scramble up to Marius's shoulder if he lets her. She's 
She's Mar- feeling like it's a little spooky around here. Marius, you feel the rackling scurrying up your body and trying to <laughs> sit over on your shoulder. You you pull him out of his sort of silence. He's sort of just been staring up uh, at this uh, this sort of shard pillar and just just uh, instinctually, almost not even realizing it, has reached a hand up uh, and it's touched along the the sort of bottom of his helmet to retract it fully. Okay. And as he's staring at it, uh, are you revealing? Was, you're revealing your uh, face. Is that what you're doing? Only only momentarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was going to ask, uh, as an Asmodian, is there do like how do your languages work? Is it common? Are there dialects for Asmodia? Like, I mean, each region would have its own dialect, but for the most part, it's all common. It's all the common tongue, which is uh, the Ionian language. Uh, is there like a version of like old common, like something that Asmodeo is built off of? There could be. Is there something that you were you you would say to yourself? There is. I again, being very much uh, interested and very much wanting to know more about Asmodeus' history, uh, and having s- studied a lot about it. Uh, I like to imagine that not only does Marius know common, but his other language would be whatever the equivalent of Esmodian old common would be. It would probably be within um, the... It would it, probably be Luxian is it is probably the other, like, sort of uh, other language of Asmodia uh, for the kingdom of Lunk, Lux that once occupied this continent before Asmodia and the entire the continent had fallen. Is it... Is it possible that I'd have known that knowledge, or is that knowledge too esoteric? I would say you would have known that knowledge just because of your attachment to your history and the the pride that you have of being an Asmodian. Okay. Then I think in in Luxon, as he's sort of just... uh, Almost in this trance, these, these sort of final moments here, um... And he's he's speaking to himself. Uh, he would uh, he. It's almost like he's reciting like a prayer. Or absolutely, tr- if, if if I'm not not saying that's what you're doing, um, but if there would be any like old world prayers, they would be in Luxian, uh, because Lux was definitely the the kingdom of light. As Bodia, it's dark shadow. He sort of reaches a palm up, or his his non prosthetic hand up, to sort of touch along the edge of the crystal on his forehead, uh, and he would he would say in uh, in Luxian, uh, "The sky itself knows not where the lightning strikes, and I hope that if you're out there and you're watching over me, that you can keep me and my friends safe, even if just for a moment." So, crowned. Would you? Hmm. Do you have any lore about the crystal on your head? Just because I don't want to step over your story. Because if you don't, I may have, right now. I was, uh, I was tying it to, uh, sort of either like a very Asmodian uh, sort of practice, but again, I don't want to like overstep. So if you have something, brother, I'm all for it. I would say because Asmodia has now become this combination of the dead kingdom of Lux along with Asmodia, um, that the crystal upon your head, unless it's meant to be a sort of like a symbol that you can like take on and off, um, I am willing to, uh, if you're down for it, is that it's actually um, part, uh, slightly part of your forehead uh, with the magics that radiate from Asmodians. Um, but specifically, it would be uh, a rare thing to see on Asmodians um, because it originates from Lux, where Luxians would sort of have this 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 div- almost this this light this divine energy 
um, that would originate from their forehead. But now it's more vestigial uh, than it was uh, as as those of Lux origin have begun begun to fade away uh, because of Asmodia's demise. So awesome. it'd be it would be something of a of a of a rarity. Hell yeah, I'm all for that. Okay, which would also understand why you could speak. Uh, the Luxian tongue, because Luxian is a, a dead language. Because there are no more Luxians. I I had played around the idea of him knowing like Elvin or whatever, but I was like, nah. I want him to know something that like would be completely yeah. useless in a normal conversation. That would be Luxian. That would absolutely Perfect. be Luxian. <laughs> Luxian is is in all intents and purposes like. Uh, an offshoot of Latin where it's just it's a dead language because it doesn't exist anymore uh, drawing his fingers away and uh, letting that stillness wash over him he would let a very soft very faint smile creep up at the edge of his lips uh, as he reaches a hand up and pats the side of uh the Zika before the helmet once more covers the entirety of his face. Let us push onward into the breach. It's kind of scary over there. Are you all advancing forward? Um, I would like to ask something. Okay. Um, so I want to make uh, poison. That's what I want to make. And I believe that Marius made a poison kit. Correct. For me. So do I have time and materials right now to do that? Sure. Just give me one second. Okay. This could also have been something you did during your downtime. Uh, would this be the poison from the poisoner feed? Yes. Okay. Uh, one hour of work. The poisoner's kit. Expend. Create a number of doses of potent poison. Efficiency bonus. Let's apply to the weapon and piece of ammunition. The poison retains its minutes. Okie doke. So, um, do you have any any credits on your person? Mm -hmm. or do, you not, do you not remember? I don't remember. Okay, then I will I will look for you. Yeah, I'm looking also. Um, Vizika, you should have giant pose. Did you spend any of Did you spend any of your credits? Um, with the development? Yes. Did you spend all of your credits? Let me check. I think no. the only ones who didn't spend any credits was Was Vanya. Cheats. Oh, was Vanya. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't spend anything? No, you, you guys were crafting so well, you didn't need mine. Oh, I thought you I took never, mine. You never took it. <laughs> you guys were just fucking bombing through it, dude. <laughs> huh. Yeah, you guys were doing great. Very well. Um, so I will say with the credits on hand um, that you will craft a set of poisons. Uh, you create a number of doses of potent poison equal to your proficiency bonus. Your proficiency bonus, I believe at level six, is now three, which means you create three poisons. Okay. Uh, so when you when you, once you do that, uh, you can imply poison uh, mm -hmm. as a like a use item action so as part of your attack you can literally just go it's kind of like slather the poison upon uh -huh. you know a bolt or a blade as part of your attack you don't have to spend a special action uh, okay. to do so uh, keep in mind though a couple of things to keep in mind uh, because of this you, since you don't have to really spend anything to do it um, as part of your attack action you could be like and I'm applying the poison because uh, the poison only lasts for one minute but uh, yeah. Any hit with an attack uh, with that poison uh, will force the creature uh, to make a DC 14 constitution saving throw, or they will take 2d8 poison damage and become poisoned. But also, what's really freaking cool um, is if the creature has poison resistance, uh, this poison ignores that, so it deals the full damage. Only Ooh. immunity is the Ooh. thing that can block um, a poisoner's poison. Well, well. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. You have three poisons. Yeah. 
there it is already applied beautiful anything else anyone else would like to do before continuing on as we depart gareth will take a few steps forward kind of leading the group and then he'll turn back to the party and just say my friends our future from here is uncertain <clears throat> i'd just like you to know i very much enjoyed your company and i'll give my all to ensure our victory if something should happen to me you should know that you all have my respect but let's not let it come to that. Let us be victorious. And he'll give a nod. Well said. I nod back. Very well. You know, let's move up. we're just apprentices, but we're still here. And all these other guys aren't. Let's gotta count for something. I'm sure we'll be fine. I hope. Apprentice only in title. Okay. So a silence will fall over as you all will press on. And you will be taken to a different map. Oh, yeah. One moment, please. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I think we are ready. as you would arrive over to the breach. Okay. Everything unpaused, you will see the uh, the ends of the gate before you the final stretch of the breach. You are free to move. Uh, as we approach, I would like to activate my, uh, my Asmodian ability to uh, see double the distance my Asmodian uh, Eye of Shadow. Okay. Sure, we're good here. I think we are. We'll be using your Eye of Shadow to, act, to double your dark vision. Is that correct? Indeed. Okay. The Earth would do the same if it is clearly uh, dark to our, to our eyes. Okay. Can everyone see okay? Yeah. Yes. Indeed. Oh, that's that's why. One moment, please. Yeah, I see gray. Ah, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. My and and you act like gray. It's so bright. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and as you approach, your feet hitting the gravel, uh, you would see by the moon, Karen, Karen standing uh, next to the breach. A warden. Jeez. Come here. Yeah, what is it? Uh, Mars is going to do two things. One, he's going to activate uh, Longstrider, cast Longstrider on Sheets. Okay. So I'll spend the spell slot. Uh, and then. I'm going to, as he casts that, or as he hands her the injector, rather, uh, the other one is to use my defensive field ability. So as he hands over the injector, once the injector leaves his hands, the, the hexagon-like patterns form over his body. You'll just kind of hear the energy come um, as a, uh, a thin defensive field appears over. You will have gained six temporary hit points. A 
What should we do? Should we observe him or try and get the drop? Question. Yes. That face looks incredibly familiar. Oh, that is the warden from the prison. <laughs> that is the warden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Marius. Is he looking at us? Sorry. Uh, ward, uh, the warden is sort of looking out over to the breach. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Sorry for interrupting, Crown. No, no. You got it, homie. Go for it. Perception. Here it is. Or, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well. I will let you guys know as you continue your discussion. Uh, you will see as if the warden, uh, on occasion, will look over to your direction. Like its head will turn, but then will only stare back at the breach. It suggests that he is aware of your presence, but does not mind it. It should be that, like, like step <laughs> out of the side, like. Kind of thing. It should be stated and known that whatever entity we are going to fight is well aware of us already. If we push on understand that any semblance of stealth or any guise of being hidden is fruitless. Well, how about we blow him up? You have a lot of bombs. I have 96 of them, to be exact. Wow. That's a lot of bombs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm holding them all. looks over at him. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yes. Here, would you like some? I have many. They perhaps not as perfect. You know what? <laughs> well, uh, uh, if you want any, now is the time. But how about yes, we push? Right. How about we push forward, knowing that our enemy already knows we're here? All right. Vanya will just reach into her coat and look for bombs, and I think, I believe, I have three. I you have three have bombs, three. that is correct. So I just, you know, I don't know how big they are, but I'm kind of, you know, like fondling them, like kind of kind of ready to oh. throw them. Yeah, yeah. Like not in a sexual way. <laughs> and like, you know, I'm, re I'm ready. Of course, of course. And not that's good to right. specify, right. yes. Right, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, I felt like I, I would had like to. to specify I'm stealthing. Okay. No matter what he says. Stealth check, please. Thank you very much. These are dead hunters. I Correct. Assume. More bodies of dead hunters scattered about. And as you would approach, a, a voice would echo out. You may come here. I'm sure there is much to discuss. I'm going to look around everyone and say, you heard that, right? A silent, but poignant yeah. nod. Yeah. And, uh, and you'll just back. kind of watch as the warden just continues to stare out at the breach. Did his mouth move as he talked? Uh, yes, it did. Does this rock look suspicious? Is it glowing? It is. It's humming with magical energies. Uh, the moon cairns are barriers that have been placed by powerful magisters to prevent the breach from growing any further. She sniffs at it. <laughs> Does it smell like good magic or bad? Can I smell magic? Uh, smell you can it. sure Does it make smell like a good rock. You could sure make an arcana or religion check. With um, nose. <laughs> but your, uh, your, oh, no, not a perception check. No, I'm afraid not. Um, all right. Well, let's. Your DC <laughs> will. <laughs> both uh, negative one. Your DC yeah. will also be heightened, uh, because you are not a spellcaster. <laughs> you you have only read of these magics within books. So you are uncertain what you are looking at. Or even How does it smell? It smells like a rock. 
<laughs> well, earthy, applaud your dirt or dirt. Nothing, nothing unusual. Perhaps now is not the time. I have a question. Yes. Um, my primeval awareness is it even usable here? Like, any of these creatures are any of the creatures I can, you know, I'm aware of. Like aberration, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead. as an action, undead, you can expend a ranger spell. Um, yes. So it, you would have to activate it and spend one of your ranger spell slots before I can tell you that. All right, I, I would like to do that. Okay, you would activate it, and the a, a, as you as you activate it, uh, you'll spend a first level spell doing so. Unless you'd like to spend a fourth level spell doing so, or a second level spell, excuse me. Otherwise, I'll use the first level. Um, the presence itself seems very obscured because as you stare out to the breach, it is uh, by its nature a source of deep fiendish energy. So you are almost blinded by it as you try to to make any sense of uh, of scattering where fiends are. But you can tell one is present here. Hmm. Uh, just the one. Uh. So just just so just to repeat what I said, um, yes, you sense this, yes. and then the breach itself it just has an abs- right, a, a, right. A, a, a so much like fiendish energy uh, that yeah. trying to <laughs> trying to detect within the breach itself is practically impossible. Get overloaded. Gotcha. Correct. <laughs> Zeke is gonna look up at this dude. Did you have a good escape? <laughs> He'll turn over to you. I was called here by something that I thought would be my master. But it seems I've been mistaken. Oh. And now I grow concern. Mm. Whoops. So is it time for us to fight Whoa, now? whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry, I accidentally <laughs> yeah, went a little too close there. Well. So as you say that, just to respond to Vizika, he will turn over to you and state, it is what we've been destined to do. You are my sworn enemy, Ionian, and it is my duty to slay those that approach the breach of with non-fiendish blood. No, why? And as he holds up, he'll pull, lift the robe ever so slightly, still the mask covering over his face, and you'll see this searing, burnt-in scar practically steaming. I've sensed your presence since your arrival. I am to take an active, hostile action against you, as is commanded by my Lord of Shadow, Ashura. Mm. But, some, but, some, but something, something is coming. And it is not that of my life. Is it something you fear? Yes. Well? I am, I am uncertain of its origins, though. But I am certain that if another more powerful Lord of Shadow is approaching, then my Independence will be surrendered to it. And he'll just turn over to you. I will not be able to hold back for much longer. If there are things you wish to inquire, I am willing to assist where I can. Because even though you are my enemy, what is approaching, I know would be a greater threat to my lord. 
Sounds so you like would help you us need fight to it. team up with us. That's right. That would be impossible. I would immediately, my mind would be taken over by whatever fiend is coming through. I've seen shadow hunters walk through the breach. And my mark did not burn. Maybe you should, like, leave then. You know? Give me a second. My duty is to guard this breach. Yes, so is ours. Then we are at, at an impasse. And you are here at the breach. And you'll see his, he just starts, begins holding the scar. We can argue the, we can argue philosophy for only so long. If there are questions that you have, you must ask them before I raise my blade against you. So above board, kind of think of this as a, speak with dead. You have three questions that you can ask. Oh, shit. Ooh. I was about to fucking blast off a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> but after the third question, the warden will attack you. An initiative will shit. be rolled. Ooh, oh, no surprise wanna... attacks will be done. I wanted to try to convince him to leave. Yeah. You are free to Palms attempt to do so. Would that shadow. cost the question? It sure would. Time <laughs> is limited. I, I above board want to know if he knows what Mikhail and the others saw. What turned the hunters? Because I feel like that's super important for us to bring back to Coker if we make it. <laughs> Well, I feel like he kind of just did explain that, like, whatever the thing is, whatever Shadow guess, Lord is coming yeah. that's stronger than his Lord is is what has taken over the minds of the people. He gave it a name, right? Asura? No, Asura oh, is Ash his Lord. Asura, Asura is Asura. his Asura. Lord. Yeah, and oh. whatever is coming is stronger than that, and he doesn't know. What the fuck? I thought they all served as Modius. What the hell? Ooh. Ah, and that would not be yeah. common knowledge to you. So that is a well-placed hunter theory that all serve under Lord Asmodeus, but perhaps there may be some infighting now. Ooh, Ooh you could ask him. There's politics. <laughs> Do it. If y'all want to use the three questions, I won't try to convince him to leave. My I mean, I, I also want to fight this guy. Like, I don't want him to leave. I want to hold <laughs> hands. My third question <laughs> is, how does this feel? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So you guys do the first two. I'll do the third one. <laughs> okay. I got this from Prime. Get the bombs ready. Let's go. <laughs> I will let you know, since you did bring it up, that you are free to spend a um, question uh, with a surprise action. So you would actually be able to take an action, but then initiative would roll and all questions would be... So do you want, do you want an upper hand in combat or do you want lore? <laughs> I, I, I want lore. Can I ask a free question of whether or not he has any snacks, or would that cost a question? That would cost a question. <laughs> Don't Shit. ask him about snacks. Vizika, do not ask him about okay. cosmic <laughs> snacks. Like can I really cool no voice? Can I... <laughs> okay. Can I roll to? Fine. Have I heard anything about this Asura entity before? Uh, you can roll, but it is uh, actually. I'm fine yeah, with you I just would, telling me no. I would say yes, because Ashura is one of uh, the eight, well, now seven, Lords of Shadow. So, yes, you would know of Ashura. Mm. Okay. Mm. What do you know about Ashura? That's a different story, but the name resonates as true. Put 
do we have any questions for this guy? Because I'm like, my brain is going a thousand miles an hour right now, trying to be like, what could we get? Like, what knowledge could we get from this entity? Well. What does he want for his last meal? Fucking get him. What do you know about this other I... entity that is approaching? Is that, the, is that a question that you're asking in character? And he's asking. Gareth's asking. All right. Question spent. I don't know. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> One down, guys. I'm sorry. He shrugs. <laughs> I do not understand its power or what it is coming. All that I know, it is overwhelming to me. And it is something I fear. But I don't understand why. That is the answer. That's pretty spooky. It is. The, do we as hunters know about all of the lords? Like, we know that there are eight lords type deal? Sorry, give me one second. I, yes. <clears throat> Let me take a look here. The only ones that you would know of are... One, two, three. That three. is specifically the lords that were fought... Um, at the Shadow War a thousand years ago. And that's, I assume, Asmodeus, Asura. And, uh, and, and Dweeblex. Gotcha. Dweeblex. Who was, uh, defeated and killed, uh, in the, in the, in the War of Shadow. Asmodeus and Asura was not. They were returned back to Shadow. Can you please spell Dweeblex? Sure can. Uh, it would be... I'll just type it. Mm. Where is the typing? I don't know. I put it in our group chat. Oh, oh, that makes more sense. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good, very good. I spelled that very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I put a J and then I put Weeb. And then I put Lex. No. Got it. Wait, whose name is this? This guy's? No. Oh, okay. One of the the, the, the lords oh, okay. that we know about. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, for our shadow hunters, um, the slime entity you encountered with the spire of Euclid, that was that was Dweeblex. The slime. To Dark. the party, Marius wants to ask if the lords themselves fear this new entity. G Gareth shrugs. Mm -hmm. Like, if there's any other pressing questions, if not, Marius wants to ask this one type deal. Hmm. The only other questions I would have would be in attempting to sway him to aid us in the upcoming battle. He's a pawn of shadow who will be swayed to whatever side comes from there, not ours. Well, certainly if we can convince him that this new threat is a danger to his lord and everything that he exists for, Perhaps we could avoid one battle and be empowered for another. But I think your question is a good one. So he himself just said that, that he knows it's a danger and he still can't do anything about it. I would 
that's something that he would say when you inquired before, um, just so we're not taking away mm. from your questions. I just mm-hmm, kind of like mm-hmm. a follow-up to what he would say. My options currently are thus. I stay by your side until this darkness pierces the breach, in which case my independence surrendered, and I turn against you. Or I fight you with till my very last breath. From there I can see the advantage. If I merge victorious, it was only earn favor for the new power that is about to pass through this breach. But if I were to fall, then it would be so in the honor of my Lord Ashura. A fitting death, and one that I would prefer. Ooh, there's a part of Marius that's like, yeah, you're afraid of getting taken over? Get taken over. Fuck <laughs> your lord. Let's just watch. You know what? We'll come back here and we'll just watch. We'll see what happens. But, you still have two questions for me. Maurice. Does your lord Asura and the others... Do they fear this new entity? I only know the commands of my Lord Ashura. And they are currently asleep. We stand in guard until their return. But the answer, unknown. Dude, I'm just, I don't know if we're going to be able to do two big bad boss fights back to back. <laughs> well, it's better to do two 1v1s, I mean 1v5s, than a 2v5. That's true. <clears throat> I will, I will, I will, I, I, I will follow up. I will follow up. Um, another thing that he would say. I just had it. There it is. Most of the Lords of Shadow slumber. But this one. I have my theories. Many I would not wish to waste time upon. But only few remain awake and aware. And if they are making a move against this breach, if they are willing to sacrifice their sanity, then it is because they have a plan to survive here on the other side. Something's coming and your world may be plunged into shadow. I feel like we could have a shot at convincing him that he would be better serving the Breach with, like, leaving us to fight this thing first, and then if we don't make it, or if we do make it one way or another, he gets to come back and have an easier time for it. Yeah, I right, like help us fight, yeah. fight the what's coming, and well, then if he, he wants to, help. he can turn on us. You know, yeah. well, he, he can't oh. help. He'll be enslaved. Um, I mean, I mean, convincing him to like, him away. to like, yeah, like far, yeah. far away, like leaving, like, right, right, like right, he right, can right. continue to guard it, like if he knows he's going to be enslaved in like two minutes, you know, or uh, yeah, so leave forehead, That's it. leave for a little bit, because we're going to try to fight this thing all the same and keep it from coming here. And that is also a, a protection to his lord in a way, yes. you know? Yes. So it's either we ask him about that, and his answer is no, and he attacks us, or we get right. a sneak attack on him. Right. <laughs> or, <laughs> or he actually leaves. But I feel with his duty to protect the breach, 
I don't think he's going to sway. Or we put all the bombs in a bag and we tell him, here, <laughs> hold this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, can you hold this for a second? 96 D4 damage <laughs> incoming. <laughs> yeah, don't, worry, don't look inside. No, just, just hold it. That's some like Looney Tune tactics right there. <laughs> like, yeah, hold this. And then he he pulls out a sign. Uh oh. And then <laughs> he blows up. He looks up. His eyes widen. Oh. So, I so Marius. Marius's perspective is a. This is a entity of shadow. This is a, mm -hmm. a, a figure who corrupts Asmodians, who corrupts the landscape, who twists everything that Asmodians have toiled to reclaim. And as such, offering them even any kindness, even the kindness of killing them uh, in service to their lord is too good for them. So Marius is almost like, let him get taken over. Let him become a pawn of a different creature. And then we put the boots to a medium style. And he dies the pawn having failed his lord. Oh my god. She <laughs> is also of a similar <laughs> mind. Zika's just thinking about how at the end of the day, he did feed those people, even if he fed them with their own people. And she likes food. So she's she's willing oh, to you had look me, and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were so close, so close. So close. He fed those people. He can't. And I like food. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Garrus is so giving the party a look like he's about to just pounce. <laughs> so unless anyone does anything, it's about to get rowdy. We find this bad boy. Cheetah's whip is already out and like. Zika gives a little sign. So make that last was good. So is it evident <laughs> that you are going to make a move? Gareth is like looking at the party because he can't say anything. He's like, he's like. <laughs> I will, I, I will let you. I will let you know that by sacrificing a question for a surprise action. Is one surprise action, not everyone attacking at the yeah. same time. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gareth flips around <laughs> and makes a swing Let's with his sword. Fucking go! go. So yeah, what? fucking go and do it. We were using our. Oh. Yep, it's done. The action has been hey, Gareth taken. Gareth locked eyes with everyone and was like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like, he silently strained, like, his eyes bulging out of his head. <laughs> All right, give me an attack at advantage, please, as we begin oh. our final battle. Oof. All right. Uh, yeah, here we go. Did you say at, at advantage? Correct. Oh, Pog. Because it's a surprise action. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Let's go! 20 and a 1. That's amazing. The dichotomy! Holy shit. Holy shit. 12 points of damage. <gasps> Suplex this man! Oh, uh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Can so, I, um... Yeah. Wait, before, wait, wait, wait. Uh, before this continues, okay. uh, because you scored a critical hit, you may grant inspiration to one of your party members. Yeah. I will also let you know that we are going to be using our beta rules of inspiration, allowing you to sacrifice your inspiration for a legendary action. What is the legendary action? It allows you to, at the end of someone else's turn, take an action Ooh. by spending Ooh. your inspiration. I like that. Mm. I like that a lot too. Huh? Mm. I will give inspiration to Vanya. Oh. Vanya, you've been granted inspiration. I feel very inspired, thank you. Question, can we give this to people like at will on the spot? Your inspiration? Or is it, yeah. Or this is it, only when you score a critical hit. 
No, no, no. But I mean, if you have it, can you just give it to someone else? At no. Any point? Transfer. Yeah. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Mm. All right. You must spend your inspiration to take your own legendary action. Hmm. As, as a part of that hit, I would like to use a maneuver. Is that something? Right? Yep. All right. I would like to do, uh, let's see, distracting strike. Mm-kay. Spend a superiority die. And uh, let's see. I don't... Bo- right, boom. There it is. Uh, yes. Superiority oh. dice has been spent. Four additional points of damage dealt. Excellent. And the next attack uh, has advantage other than me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so that was your action, and now the encounter begins with the strike in, uh, uh, strike in place. And would you look at that? It's Gareth's turn. <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> Let's fucking go! All right. Yeah. I. Kill this man. I would like to. I think. Uh, I think a bonus action, correct? I can use the oils to uh, ignite my blade. Uh, the anointed of... oils from Cold oh. Beer? Yes. I would like to do that. As you'll watch, as a holy blaze will ignite upon your blade. Excellent. I will swing with my longsword. Okay. Uh, the 14 will miss, as you'll see. You'll you'll watch as the warden gets strike down with your first attack. Oh, also, you're attacking at advantage, correct? Because of the distracting strike? No, it says a player other than me. Ah, so gotcha. Next someone one. else Understood. would have advantage. Yes. Understood. Uh, <laughs> yes, the 14 would miss. You'll actually, as you hit, and then you'll just kind of watch as the warden <sighs> just holds up a, like, a, a bracer to like, deflect your blow with that one attack. Very good. I will use uh, extra attack and attack again. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, as it deflects off, you manage to strike again with the uh, the second hit. Uh, that'll be ten points of damage. And then you'll watch as the fire pass over uh, the warden. And you'll just kind of see the blade begins to scar. And as your, like, your sword is, like, almost branding uh, the warden... You'll watch as its clawed hand will grab onto the blade, almost embracing its fire. And it will he will look up to you and just state, It will take more than parlor tricks to defeat me. And then after the first hit with the with the sword, you'll watch as the fire <laughs> snuffs out on your blade. Ooh. Uh-oh. I would um, also like to employ a, another maneuver upon that hit. Okay. I would like to do trip attack. Uh. <laughs> It'll take more than Paula. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 um, a banana peel on the fight. ground. How you trip attack. Uh, let's see. Oh, the superiority, superiority die for uh, for damage, right? Uh-huh. Let me hold on. He trips onto the Add back this of bombs. the damage. But, oh, crap. All, All right. Oh, that's okay, so one point of damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did, you, <laughs> did you take more than that? <laughs> to defeat me! Steps oh forward and pushes you back. <clears throat> uh, I think I'm out of stuff, so that'll be me. All right, cheats. Oh, okay. I was cradling my dog. I'm sorry. I thought I was lower. <clears throat> Cheech puts down the dog. Um, and <laughs> what that dog doing? <laughs> he was being very needy. <laughs> That's what he was doing. Uh, we're gonna prepare the whip and <sighs> do I drug or do I not drug? <laughs> That's the question. Remember that you do have Long Strider on right now. Yeah, <laughs> but drugs that we hit have more than one attack. <laughs> but drugs are pretty pop. Maybe if we spend some of the credits to make me a better drug. <laughs> that didn't hurt me. Uh, am I? Now? 
<laughs> I'm just saying! Uh... What does Long Strider do? I increase your movement speed uh, by an additional 10 feet. Oh, sick. All right. She will somehow travel uh, 60 feet. <laughs> There's With go. math. She will come here in... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she will attack with her accelerated whip. At advantage. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you? Bad if I do. <laughs> uh, shift. Shift. Thank you. Don't. <laughs> This is the question you ask all the time. Well, I, I heard it in your voice crowd. Like, holy shit. Shift. It's object permanence. Shift. Uh, you'll deal nine points of damage. In addition to that, uh, you will deal uh, six additional points due to the kinetic energy builds up. Uh, we will, uh... I'm a rogue, I'm a rogue. I can do rogue things. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You can apply a sneak attack. Yes, that's right. Ha! 11 points of damage dealt. Mm. Uh... Uh... There we go. What can we do with bonus action? I'm so sorry. Uh, with a bonus action, uh, you can make mm. an offhand attack with a light weapon. Other than that, for rogues, you can you have cutting action, which means you can dash with, uh, with a uh, yeah, bonus that's... action. Or I can do the cheat code. Or you can use the cheat code. code. Oh. Mm. Which you can use as an offhand weapon. I will also let you know, though, you do not have any more kinetic energy built up because you've spent it with the, the whip attack. Um, okay. Uh. Sorry, I'm confused. Uh. Oh, yeah, the uh, cheat code the is also has... Oh, yeah, it also has a uh, bloody modifier uh, as part of the cheat code, which means if you attack with it and successfully hit and you're applicable with um, snake attack, a.k.a. an ally is within five feet away from the creature, or if you have advantage, it deals an additional 2d6 points of damage. Hell yeah, let's do it. We'll have to get we'll... into melee. Yeesh. I do? Yeah, because it's a dagger. dagger. You got to get into five feet. You got to get in that range. Google, Your whip gives not you... talking to you. Wait, you, what? What? My phone thought I was asking it something. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were saying that to me. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? No, I'm not <laughs> a horrible I'm person. A I'm not <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not a horrible person. That's what I will. That's why I was surprised. <laughs> okay, that Google. Is, that's something. That's Jeez, all. Louise. <laughs> I don't... Xbox, turn off. Xbox, turn off. <laughs> Okay, um, and then I can't get close enough to do that. <laughs> um, could I do another whip attack since it's a simple melee whip? No, you cannot. It's specifically with your off hand, which you currently don't. You're currently equipped on your main hand would be your whip. Um, your off hand could have a dagger. Should have taken my drag. <laughs> I'll, I'll learn next time. Uh, okay, then I'm gonna bonus action dash. All right, to, uh, what, do, what does dash do? Uh, dash allows you to move your movement speed uh, again. <laughs> Are you just going back Bye. to where you were? <laughs> <laughs> 
And I'll cabbage. build up six charges. Yeah, her feet have this electric going off of them as she runs back where she goes. And now everyone can. Did we increase her capacity? Sure did, partner. And not capacity, but um, how many she can spend. Safely. Gotcha. Ooh. How many can I spend? Uh, it is equal to your level, but because you have the uh, capacity increase, uh, it becomes an, I believe, an eight. <laughs> so now you can spend eight kinetic charges. Yeah, I'm so fast it didn't even move. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, at the end of Cheats' round, you'll watch as the warden sort of stares at Cheats running around, and once she runs back, he'll just thrust his arms out, and he'll say, Restrain yourself! As you'll watch as the spectral chains will just kind of, like, thrust up uh, from the ground. So, Cheats, I need you to please make me oh a dexterity saving throw. Oh, you got this. Dexterity Dexterity is your middle name. Oh, hey. and you'll you just dodge you immediately. Just kind of <laughs> <sighs> His arm just drops down to the ground, frustrated. Vanya, it's your turn. All right. Well, starting off with the dread ambusher, and uh, I'm just you know showing it. In chat, mm -hmm. and then I would like to move behind this rock here. I don't know how tall this rock is actually. Is uh, it, it covering it, me? It is not covering you. No. Oh, okay. Well, uh, if what if I like squat down? Uh, yeah, you would be prone though. Okay. Mm. Well, I do squat down, and I want to take a shot. Um, You're going prone. Is that correct? Yes. Ooh. All right. You are now prone. All right. Well. Let's see how that goes. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> all right, I'm going to take my shots. Do I take three shots with uh, uh, so, my Dread Ambusher? Yes, with Dread Ambusher, you would attack three times, but on the third attack, you would deal the Dread Ambusher damage. Okay. Okay. So that's what I do. All okay. right, should I roll? Yes, you should. Not at advantage, Ooh. though. You will right. be... No, that is correct. Not oh, an no. advantage. Okay. Wow. Uh, that is the that blade is not part. My... You would need yeah, to use the, the Yeah, I know, the I know, I know. That was, I'm sorry. That was an Understood. Mm. Uh, <laughs> that will hit nine points of damage. Mm -hmm. And we go again. And yeah, you just watch as the bullets are just piercing through the warden. Goddamn. Do I roll third yes, time? Yes, you do. Alrighty! Wow. That will Boom. attack for a total of 19 points of damage as you just kind of feel. Can you get? As like the rifles, the, the rifle spikes are just depleting. And uh, yeah, that is the end of my turn. All right. At the end of Vanya's turn as a legendary action, he'll watch as the warden sort of just like flings back and then you'll see as he reaches back into his cloak uh, pull out uh, this chained hook and just immediately looks over and tries to toss it uh, over in Vanya's direction uh, but because uh, Gareth is blocking uh, <clears throat> Gareth you'll be taking the hit instead it is an 8 it is a miss uh, missing Gareth <laughs> <laughs> nice try, you poorly endowed fool! Callbacks, <laughs> <laughs> callbacks, we got him, baby! Callbacks, callbacks, callbacks! Zika. Yeah, uh, I just noticed uh, that there is no two-handed version of my quarterstaff plus one. I will add that for you. Oh, sorry, um, I, didn't I don't. Mean... No, it's oh, fine. Uh... Um, give me one second. I wish court, I wish the quarter stuff worked as it was intended to do. So give me one second. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just give you a versatile button. I don't know why I don't have that. Um, all right, the two-handed version has just been added. Okay. Is a two-handed quarter staff a half staff? I look. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, Blank <laughs> stare. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm gonna move. 
gonna move all the way up. Oh, hello. Hello. <coughs> She's gonna take out her staff and look at it and like, that's a good staff. And uh, kind of look up and be like, sorry. And uh, smack at him. Success. Wow. And with that, <laughs> she's gonna do it again. Uh, that will also hit seven points. Yeah, damage. and the second time it goes on fire. <laughs> Six points of damage dealt. Holy. Yeah. And then for bonus action, she's gonna kick at him with an unarmed strike. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Eight points of damage. <clears throat> and then she's gonna scurry around to uh, the other side of him to confuse him. <laughs> and like do some like poses like <clears throat> Alright, it's now the warden's turn. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And you'll see as you're like smacking with the staff, the warden turns back over to Vanya. And as as the warden pulls their hood sort of over their face, they will th- Uh-oh. vanish. Uh... What the? And then you'll, Vanya, the last thing you feel th- as the two hooks wrapped around his arms just th- sink down uh, Vanya's Ooh. back. Ah! Uh! <laughs> uh, a 15 will hit 8 points of damage followed by a 21 an additional 8 points of damage <laughs> and yeah you'll just kind of, you'll, you'll you'll just kind of watch as one moment like as you're you're prone there You'll see, like, the warden just kind of, like, step down further, almost looming over Vanya with bloody hooks uh, drawn. Marius, it's your turn. Prepared to rush forward and suddenly surprised that it's uh, that it's moved and is now on top of uh, Vanya, Marius would turn, hefting his hammer up, and would surge forward. Uh, and as he gets in, he's going to take a swing with his hammer. That is a critical miss. And as you, so, you'll, so you'll watch, you'll watch oh, no. as, as the warden is just looming over Vanya, just almost like, not trying to say anything, almost like stepping down, almost trying to like keep Vanya down to the ground with the chains already slashed out as if they're about to go for another attack. And as you just swing your hammer up, you'll actually just watch as he, his arm, like he's going for attack, he drops the chained hook. You'll watch the hook is dangling off his wrist. And with his open palm, he just holds on to the hammer and just turns over to you. It just says, pathetic Asmodian, uh, gaining an ins- inspiration. Mm. And just just for kicks, um, he will immediately interrupt the rest of your attacks to spend that inspiration on wow. a legendary reaction. And then at the same thing, he'll retract his arm back. The chain wraps around his arm. And as he pushes you back, he slashes, he gives two twin slashes down and up uh, of your armor. These will be uh, a normal attack. 17 to break your AC, which just meets it looks like. It does. Dealing 10 points of damage. And then the other chain will slash up, dealing a, a 16 does not hit. <laughs> and that, yeah, that you'll you'll be able to he'll you'll be able to dodge that. You may continue your turn now. Okay. Uh, hammer caught and sort of pushed back the first cut, striking upwards across his armor. His other hand, the clawed prosthetic, now coming up to sort of deflect the second hook swing. Uh, and as he does, the hammer falling back. He would grab it, twist, and sort of turn, like uh, activating torque within the hammer, 
and then lurch it forward to try and uh, fire off his second hit. And yeah, it he just sidesteps as it just grazes against his bracer. Um, his masked eye is locked upon Marius. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, Gareth, you'll turn to see the warden engaged against um, against Marius. It, it, it almost appears like the warden for a moment has the upper hand. Gareth is like enraged at the fact that he just kind of escaped his 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 range and he's gonna run up to him and say look at me and he's gonna take a swing the warden will look uh only to immediately be struck down with 10 points of damage from the magical weapon Hurrah! and i will swing again uh, it, it, yeah, just sidesteps Oof. it. Oof. Oof. Um, let's see. I think... I will... Gareth will move here. Just to make things harder on him, and then end his turn. As a legendary action, you'll watch as the warden holding on to his chains, Gareth sidestepping, striking once, and he, you will just scream, SUBMIT! As he throws his hooks up into the air, you'll see the chains sort of like grinding up his arms, and as both of the hooks are like dangling up in the air, he holds on to the chains as they suspend there in sky by shadow magic, and then he just and just slams the hooks down, uh, one down upon Maria, uh, Marius, the other down uh, upon Gareth. Uh, the first attack will be Marius. Uh, the, that will uh, miss, 16, mm -hmm. just uh, once again. And yeah, just easily deflected. Uh, you both easily deflected as the, the hooks just slam down. He opens his hands again, and you'll see the hooks... Uh, and the chain sort of retract up his arms as he grabs the hooks again. Cheats, it's your turn. And she will die. Run! Not dash, sorry, I forget that that's actually a natural word. <laughs> that is used. Uh, seeing as I can only use... I've got six, so she will move... here. Does that give flanking? Or does that give flanking? Uh, we do not use flanking rules. Oh. That's something that um, uh, that Crown uses because he's just a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, not, brother. Not me. I'm a <laughs> fucking loser that doesn't <laughs> use flanking. I don't even use the actual flanking rules. So I'm also- Oh, aren't you special? <laughs> um, actually, you can only make it worse, crowned. Uh, let me do, to, but we do actually have. I totally forgot. Yeah, we do have the flanking modifier that can be applied. To but you don't have that. So, anyways, continue on. You've moved twenty feet, correct? Yes. All right. You have eight charges. And she will whip. Uh, thirteen will miss. You'll just watch as the, the you release the whip out, um, and just he, he just kind of like wraps it around his arm with the chain, like tugs a little bit, and just pushes it back over to you. Uh, I'd like to say that the tug pulls her close. Or okay, as part of your movement, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So so I I, I like that. So she he wraps the rip around and he pulls you over, and it looks like he's trying to impale you with the claw. Until. And uh, I will use my Chico. Mm. The strike is true. You may apply 2d6 bloody damage. You may apply your sneak attack damage. And Kill. Apply kinetic the eight wow. Kinetic wow. charges. Wow. Kill. So yeah. you'll watch as, as he looks like he's about to stab you through the hook and you just, yeah, continue. Help. Tell me 
happen. Yeah, she uh, she will lurch forward with uh, the you know her bladed whip just wrapping around his 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 forearm with the chains, pulling her forward. She will grip that cheat code in her in her you know left hand and just run it into his side up through like the meat of his chest hmm. and tell you know basically sent, telling to him. You know that she she was an intent. That was her intention the entire time. So and, uh, yeah, we'll go on. tell him not to get cocky. So yeah, as you stab through, you'll see him lurch to that attack as he just drops the hooks down and just <clears throat> and he just coughs out blood that just spills across the floor and he lurches as, as if to look to die and then just slowly turns up to you as he returns to the mist. You picked the wrong side. (sighs) I am the keeper of all forms of life, living. And then he'll step out of the mist and deceased. And as he holds his hooks up, you'll watch as a spiritual energy be- will begin to silently wisp around the claws as he enters his second phase, the spiritual uh, call. Uh, Game time. Viz Gumog, <laughs> the warden, uh, drops to zero hit points or below. He gathers his strength, calling for the spirits of the deceased he had already sentenced to imprisonment. Viz Gumog is fully healed and becomes Viz Gumog, the Keeper of Souls. Oh, shit. And a name change? Ah, great. Ah, great. There's a comma in his name? Jeez. <laughs> he got a bigger health bar. <laughs> All right. His hit points restore back to full. And as he holds up these those axes, you'll see the bodies of these wispy spirits begin to form as you look around. He's imprisoned all that has fallen here. And you'll just start to see it. as they all begin to ascend and they turn over as if to approach. Uh, Cheats, you may continue your turn. Okay. (laughs) Uh... I think she will see. Oh, my God, math again. We'll make her way to Marius's side using the rest of her movement to build up those kinetic charges. Poised and ready. All right. Against his back. How much uh, movement did you move after that uh, that again? I wasn't keeping track, I'm sorry. Uh, 40. Okay, so you got four charges. All right. You'll watch uh, before Vanya's turn as the warden takes a breath and you'll see the spirits slowly approach. The one thing you notice is they're all heading into the direction of the warden. Um, I would like to make an attack of opportunity against that one. You are free to do so. <laughs> yeah! I'm a sentinel! You will stay there! Uh, it will, as you strike it. And as it does, you will see it turn over to you and be- and turn a deep crimson red 
as it appears to be bubbling now. Is that bad? I... Did you say bubbling? Yes. Oh. I see. Can I, um... Hmm. Oh, nope. I don't have any more diets? Uh, you've spent two spent maneuver two. dice so far, correct? Yes. And you have, yeah, nope, you have two superiority dice left. Okay, it, okay. Yeah, okay, it, okay. if it doesn't say, it, it'll, yeah, you have two left. Okay. I, um, I would like to, and then, upon hitting there, use a pushing attack to push it away from me. Okay. Um, In the case that it is going to explode. Then push it onto me. <laughs> um, let's see here. So, for your pushing attack... Uh, it must make a strength save DC 15 or be uh, pushed up to 15 feet or pushed 15 feet away from, or up to 15 feet, which is great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, this, this should be easy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so how, where nice. would you like to push it? Um, I would like to push it like over here. Can I do that? Five, ten, hmm. Hmm. 15. Uh, that's the 15? best I can do. Oh. Okay. You you're, you're not like giving it like a bowling ball spin trying to do some fancy like. <laughs> I put a curve on it. And... Yeah. <laughs> no, um, and also superiority, superiority dice for damage. Okay. Boom. Just... Yeah, it continues up like almost like film burning. It's just bubbling up. Very good. Anya. Mm hmm. Upon seeing that, I think um, I'm going to try to take a shot at the one that is um, yeah, okay. Can you tell when I do this? What are you what trying are you, to do? Are you click and hold target. little target. Uh, oh, yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So I would like to take... Um, a shot against this one. Okay. Uh, you hit it, and as before, you'll watch as this thing will halt its movement and turn a crimson red as it stands there, bubbling. Okay. Um. <clears throat> then I'm gonna turn around and. I'm still prone, huh? Oh, uh, you can mm -hmm. get up using half your movement. Okay, I'm getting up because I'm not gonna move anyways. And I am going to shoot over this one. Who are you shooting? This one to the north. Okay. So you just kind of like turn around and pfft. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, that will also hit. It'll halt its movement and begin bubbling. Uh, and could I also use my Sentinel's Flask? Uh, uh, as a bonus action, you can. Great. Uh, let me give me a second. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yes, it has three charges. How many charges would you like to spend? One. Okay. Uh, your hit die is a D10, I believe, as a ranger. So I will roll D10. Hmm. Plus. Plus zero. Because you don't have a ton of All right. You'll sip up and heal for three health. Okay. At the end of Vanya's turn. You'll watch as he just sort of like turns over uh, to Vizika and just. Hmm. Oh. Oh. And then he. Oh. And then, he, should, and, and then he, he has his, his, his hooks up uh, as if he's about to attack Vizika. Vizika. Oh, hmm. wow. <clears throat> well, that's, you know, that's nice. That's cool. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> well, the Zika is like, well, I didn't even have to move. <laughs> and now uh, she's going to swing it in with the staff that she's been holding already. Twelve misses. <clears throat> <Oof>. <clears throat> she looks a little surprised. And she squints at the staff. She squints at the staff. <laughs> Don't do that. And then she'll swing again. Mm. 24 hits, stealing five points of damage. The staff lights up. Three it's points. not powder and dark tricks. It, it's alcohol. She stutters <laughs> out. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to spend one key to do two unarmed strikes. Okay. So. Wait, that hits uh, five points of damage. Key point. Where is... Oh, I should have just hit the flurry of blows button. That's okay. Now you can hit it now. I'll spend a key point, and here's another unarmed strike. All right. Seven Where points of damage. All right. And with that, um, seeing those hooks and with flurry of blows, I get to disengage. So she's going to do that. And uh, oh, she's going to scuttle over to, uh, to this side between these two uh, flamey dudes. You'll, um, the reaction is spent, but you'll watch as the warden just drops the hooks down and you just tumble out of there. Just gonna go a little further. And that's gonna be my turn. Uh, yeah, you'll just kind of watch as he turns over to you. Oh. And as he he's do as he's walking, you'll see him just sort of Hold his hand out. Uh, da, 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 I'm do, I'm doing a check. Yep. Yeah, should have gone further. Uh, and, and as he's walking, he just holds his hand out, and as he does, you'll watch as the spectral chains will try and surround you. DC 15, please. Okay. Did, wait, DC 15 what? Uh, deck save. So all you have to do is select <laughs> oh. your token and press yeah, that yeah, button. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. you'll, yeah, you'll succeed. You'll manage to tumble out. Um, and as you do so, it's, he still just continues the walk. He needs no advantage to strike you. Or does he? Let's find out. You have an AC of 16. A oh. critical oh. hit as you'll just watch it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, can I? Oh, Can you man. what? No, never mind. I don't think I have a reaction that can do anything with that. 20 points of damage. Oh. He will inhale uh, from this, gaining an inspiration from his good fortune. The second hook goes down. That one will be a miss as it just crunches down. But then he'll watch as he stares over at you. And with newly acquired inspiration gained, he will spend it to immediately take a legendary action to strike you two more times with the chain to hook. Missing and missing. Oh, she like is like <laughs> bent over from the first hit. She's like, ah, and then she watches the other three miss, and she's like, <laughs> just still spit. <laughs> Blows raspberry at him. Oh, and then just kind of, yeah. Um, <laughs> Marius, we've seen that these entities uh, look like they are heading toward either towards this cairn or he heading towards him. Uh, you are free to make an investigation check as an action or bonus action. Ooh. Ooh. Neither. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pass. <laughs> I am going to use my bonus action to cast Expeditious Retreat on myself. Okay. Uh, allowing me to double my movement speed. Uh, and sort of avoiding this gentleman here. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, actually, actually to get up to this gentleman here. Uh... And just before I get to him, my action is to fire off a frost bolt at this gentleman here. Uh, my prosthetic claw would split apart from it. A sort of uh, cycling gem would rotate until it selects this sort of ice blue like crystal. Uh, and from it, firing off a small focused beam. All right. Mm. Uh, the strike is true. Uh, as you will watch it turn, it's crimson red. Uh, and its movement speed is reduced by 10 feet. Understood. Mm. Uh, and then I would move the rest of my movement up. Mm. 
You may do so now. That is my turn. Hey! Gareth. Uh, do I need uh, a full action for extra movement, for a second movement? Correct. Or is it, you will, you will okay. spend an action to take the dash oh. action to move again. I'm sorry if I need to go the other way. Oh, that's okay. All right, movement, boom. Okay. Action, mm -hmm. boom. You have a bonus action Ex remaining. Extra action, attack. Yep. Uh, no, that is an action. Yeah, but I have extra action, though. Oh, extra. Uh, so I, uh, if you're talking about action surge, or are you talking about extra attack? Ex oh, extra attack. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I see. with extra um, attack, you have to take the attack action for that to apply. Gotcha. But you gotcha. do have action surge as a, as a fighter, which allows you to take yeah. an additional action. We also have a question mark void boss coming up, so I don't know if I want you to sure do, that. partner. Oh, my God. Jesus. Um. <laughs> All right, let me. Um, where did my character sheet go? It disappeared. Oh, there it is. All right. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Dang. Um. As a free action, he will say, "You are dumb." And that's it. That's all. You that's are it. dumb. You are dumb. Got him. On an initiative of yes. 20 as a lair action, the following will occur. occur. We'll watch as the spirit walks up and offer itself up to the, uh, to the keeper of souls. And mm. it will, and, uh, Vizgumog will gladly accept. Uh, gaining a spiritual charge. And you'll see him hum with energy. Uh, this will cause the spirit to wisp away. Uh, the others will also move uh, 10 feet in oh. this direction. Oh. Use my attack of opportunity. Hmm. Let's see it. Oh! Wow! <laughs> who would you like to ins who would you like to inspire? Uh, uh, Gareth. Gareth, you have gained Ooh. inspiration. Yes. I am the fury of an empire. <laughs> God, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Whole empire? <laughs> All right. Uh, so this one won't explode. Oh. I would oh. also like to push it uh, back with my crusher feet. Uh, how far back? So you'd push it like over <laughs> here. I push it like back the way it came. <laughs> Okay. Wait, you so you're pulling? Uh, like slamming it down. Like as it runs, I s like sort of try to aim it towards the edge. Does your crusher feet allow you to halt the movement like Sentinel or? No, but anytime I deal damage with bludgeoning damage, I can move the creature five feet. Oh, you direction. can literally just move it anywhere. I'm yeah. sorry. I thought you said push and I'm reading you're right. So you would just, yeah, I guess you would like wow. hook, hook him back. All right. Well, like I said, he doesn't explode. However, uh, you will watch as these red spirits that have been bubbling over uh, will release a fury of mm. explosive spiritual energy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the only one that doesn't go is this one because he turned red on this turn. Does that stuff linger? Oh, uh, the explosion? No, it, it literally is just this immediate burst of uh, explosive energy. Uh, and then, yeah, you'll kind of watch as... Oh, not that one. As they, yeah, their presence are gone. Mechanics, people, mechanics. <laughs> I've played an MMO before. Write it down. <laughs> Scribble. Don't step into the fire. Jeez. All right. Uh, seeing that happen before her eyes as she turns back her head and sees Marius as gone, she's like, did you see? Uh, <laughs> like, looks back. <laughs> she's gone. And uh, rather engaged in a little dance down here, she's going to take her accelerant. Hey, uh, uh, crowned is, is um, Longstrider concentration. 
It is not. Oh, damn. Then we go. Yeah, wow. It's just a free cast. All right. I'm just, I had to double check. Uh, accelerant activated, <laughs> but you'll definitely feel this <laughs> as the burn <laughs> will surge in your body. Yeah. She just pulls <laughs> it up and. <laughs> good. <laughs> Tissue. <laughs> like, ooh, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sparse. <laughs> All right, you are hastened. She's gonna go. She's gonna go. She's gonna go. She's gonna go. Oh, well, that's ruler, right? <laughs> did you give me the, the four points of damage? I sure did. Okay, just making sure. Let's see, I've got 120 feet to play with. I got 120 feet to play with. 50. 50. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Like a billiard. That's special. 50. Eight ball in the corner pocket. That's perfect. All right. Perfect. Perfecto. All right. She's going to go pew. And the, the like yellowed steam just comes out of her the the vents in her her mask as her eyes glow and she's gonna and she's going to attack this one. Boga. Uh, it'll snap back Ooh. from the strike, turning crimson red. And using my deductive reasoning in my hasted brain, cat brain go burr. We're gonna run. Cat brain go burr. <laughs> We're gonna move. I'm not gonna use my kinetic charges for that. And we are going to move. Uh, right here. Right here. And we're gonna Hello. Again. You see Cheats just slide up, the electric coming out of her feet as she has, with the, the full length of her whip has extended, and the blades are just sparking. Uh, her eyes are glow, and she's going to attack. Ooh. You strike true. You are affable to use sneak attack. Oh, you're attacking again. Uh, that also hits. Any kinetic yeah, charges spent or no? Oh, yes, please. Uh, kinetic charges spent. You still have a sneak attack to spend. And you do so. Ten points of damage. Those were your two uh, attacks. One from haste and one from your action. You still have a bonus action remaining. I bonus action to use my stint accelerant. Ah, you did. Thank you. So that will be, I believe, my turn. Okie dokie. Did that include the um, the built up? Did you discharge? Yep. Kinetic discharge oh, okay. has okay. already been spent, which was the eight additional points. Of yeah, I traveled 120 feet, and I had 60 from, or I had 60 feet from before that. So I see it up there. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. got that. Boot. She got I don't that. know how many charges I. So That's your correct. your charge limit is currently at uh, two above, which is eight. But that doesn't be, the charges can also hold over. Uh, so yeah. you're you're you you spent all your charges, which means unless you move again now, uh, your charges are depleted. Right. Perfect. Okie dokie. Hit that anchor <laughs> if you're done, because here he comes, slashing down. Ooh. No, no. Huh? Pestilence. As he sl he'll, uh, as a legendary action, will slash down on Cheats. 16 uh, to hit at AC 19. That's a nopers. Ow. 10, wow. also a nopers. Yeah, she's doing? just like, it is a tss, 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 As she just like steps from side to side with electric feet. Ooh. Vanya. Vanya will whip out one of the poison vials. Oh. Yeah. It's game time. <laughs> it is game time, my friends. Game you are um, using the poison on this next attack, correct? Yes. Yes, indeed. So I would like to, you know, coat my spike. It is coated. Okay. And I will make my attack against the warden, by the way. Right. <laughs> A 15 is sufficient. 
Six points of damage dealt. I will make a save for the poison. 14 was the DC to break. That was wow. a 14. I will roll a 2d8, <laughs> dealing 10 oh. points of damage. And the warden is poison. Yes! <gasps> Damn. Huge. Damn. You'll see him. You like that? You'll see him slowly turn over to Vanya, and and we'll just say, "Your trinkets are impressive, but they won't be enough." As he like holds his torso in poison. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I take my second attack. I can do that, right? Uh, yes. Uh, this will not be poison because the right. bolt you poisoned was already shot. Uh, that will hit 12 points of damage. Mm. Uh, also, I'm not prone anymore if you want to. Oh, you are spending half your movement That's to stand up? Yeah, I did that. You did that before, yeah. Oh, it was declared? Okay, sorry. I thought yeah. I, I thought we discussed it. I didn't That's know that you bowling. actually did it. That's All right. Bowling. And that ends my turn. Uh, Vizika. After being hit so hard, but then watching the other three attacks, Mish, he's like, well, this is great. Great for me. Not so great for you. <laughs> oh! Uh, the 19 will hit, dealing 10 yeah, points of damage. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click oh. that twice. Wow. wow, I just, I'm clicking Five everything points of damage. today. Reset the fight. Oh, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> Reset well, the fight. <laughs> that hits true. Five points of damage. And with this one, she's going to do the thing where her staff goes bing, and she's going to shove him as well in this direction. Five feet to the right. Just because. Uh, and after she pushes him back, she immediately is jumping up high to kick him once again, using a key point for flurry of blows. And she's a, with her feet like a little kangaroo or something. Um, <laughs> kangaroo I don't, or something. Damn. Yeah, I don't know if that does both unarmed strikes or it's just the one. It does the one, so you'll want to do just another arm, unarmed strike. All right, there we go. That one will not. <laughs> and then she kind of misses that one, so she like slips and skids this way. Um, <laughs> but then she, uh, she, you know, using the disengage, she's gonna kind of get away from him a little bit. Yep. All right. Did it. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, Viz Gumag will go. Um, you'll see the spiritual essence that has empowered over, uh, over over the Keeper of Souls. And as they hold their hand up, uh, they will see the soul, the spiritual ball discharged within their hand. And it looks like at the beginning uh, that uh, the Keeper of Souls was going to use it aggressively against you. But now this affliction upon him, he just kind of like looks down at it and crushes the soul within his hand. And as he does so, he opens up. You'll watch as the poison begins to, to just like a vapor drain away from his hand, spending uh, the spiritual charge he has to remove the poisoned condition. Wow. Well. You know, <laughs> the fact that he wasn't immune to poison to start off with is a huge plus. <laughs> so this mm -hmm. is a dub. I'm fine with this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll watch as he turns over. His movement speed is decreased by 10. Thank you. I don't need to use my feet. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't stand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I bet those are really sore on your footsies. Um, Bill watches as Viz sort of just from the mist will kind of like slash down uh, and is beginning uh, to grapple. <clears throat> oh. Wow. So uh, I will be making an athletics check. You may make an acrobatics or athletics check to attempt to break through. It is a critical what? hit. Wow. You got oh this. You, you got wow. this. Wow. So I, do I roll it right now? Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> uh, that is, yes. Yeah, so uh, you'll watch 
um, as he just sort of like with the two hooks in hand will actually pick up the Zika, tying uh, her with the chains and uh, ho- while holding the Zika, one second. Uh, I actually need a ruling. Crowned. Because, oh, uh, because the warden is considered large and Vizika is considered small, uh, would his movement be impeded at all? Not at all. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah. She weighs literally nothing. Uh, <laughs> and depending on his strength score, he could probably carry her with like so, a finger. <laughs> with no hindrance, you will watch as he slowly... Oh, one second. Sorry. <laughs> he will slowly just uh, and because of the uh, the speed reduction removed can't do anything else and just holds the Zika over to the pit oh, uh, hey, look, I, looking I as if swim. looking as if as if about to drop the Zika and you'll just hear Viz Gumog state I'm showing you Kindness. That's what the other guy said, and then we killed him. Uh, and yeah, it looks like Vizgumog is literally about to drop Vizika. Aries, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neat. Very cool. Uh, holy fuck. Marius. Uh. Seeing that the other one's exploded, uh, does not want to take that risk using his bonus action. Oh, with... and my apologies. At the end of uh, Vizgumog's turn, you'll watch as spiritual energy will form once again over the bodies. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, they Good. keep coming back. <laughs> Uh-oh. Burn the bodies. Hmm. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Oh, that's a reach. Uh, seeing that the other one's exploded, Marius is using his bonus action, going to use uh, the dash action as his bonus action with Expeditious Retreat, uh, provoking an attack of opportunity from this entity here. No attack of opportunity is taken. Mm-hmm. Understood. Uh, then I, oh God, to... I need to help the homie. We're going to upcast Magic Missile. Whoa. Uh, to try and get their attention because I can't get close enough. So I want them to turn, like trying to taunt them. So from the back, Marius's uh, sort of plated shoulder splits, a small mounted uh, sort of mortar like creation appears. And from it. <laughs> Uh, several darts would fire off and surge towards uh, uh, Vizgumag. I'm going to upcast Magic Missile to second level. Hell yeah. Four Ooh. missiles. All pew, right. Pew, pew, pew. And you can roll the other 3d4 plus three. 3d4 plus three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're trying to get the distraction of Izgumog with the magic missile. That is your I, intent? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pull his attention back towards me to give, to even give Vizika the opportunity of just being closer to the ledge or being over the ledge. Like, face it, me, coward. He'll turn his head to you. But do you have his attention? That is uncertain. We'll have to wait and see how he spends his inspiration legendary action at the end of your round. Understood. Well, that's my turn, Dungeon Master. Then I leave this up to fate. Since you wish it so, I will roll a d20. And in 10 and over, you shall have your wish. Attention turned. Nine and below would be a misfortune upon you all. With a 16, you'll watch and spending his legendary action, uh, which was going to be release the grapple. Uh, he 
instead, uh, holding the chain around the little rackling, will look over you and just, again, pestilence, and just call forth the spiritual chains around Marius. Uh, so, Marius, I need you to make if, that deck safe. If this will guarantee that he's gonna come on over here and, like, drop the Zika to, like, ensure she, do he, she doesn't get thrown over, but, like, turn his attention fully towards me, can I just auto-fail to keep his attention? Oh! Mm. Um, I will leave that up to fate, uh, but I will say it is favorable if you auto-fail. Meaning, when I make my fate roll, I'll roll a 2d20, and as long as one of those are 10 or higher, Whoa. you make it what you want. Let's go. That's I want to. I want to keep the uh, the rackling safe. All right, you are restrained from the spirit, spiritual energy. Gareth, it's your turn. I said, "Look at me." Gareth will move up, and then he's gonna make an attack from here. Oh. Miss. Okay, extra attack. Uh, Miss. This criminy. I will use my action surge for All extra right. attack. Kill! Kill him. There Kill we go. Him. 13 Kill. points of damage. Okay. Extra and attack I, I, does apply to this attack. All right. I would like to spend a superiority. My last superiority die. <laughs> Whew. To, uh, uh, here's the damage. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. I, I reduced it before I clicked it. There we go. Oh. God damn! Eight points of damage. What are you doing? I, I would like to attempt a pushing attack to push him. Um, over the edge. Well, yeah, over the edge. No, <laughs> in, in, in a way that would, uh, uh, you know, further away from the edge, in this this direction. Oh. Um, and that's a, f I think, a fifteen strength save. Uh, a state. Yes, the uh, I have to make a saving ABC. throw. Uh, and that would fail. Oh. 15 feet pushed. Uh, so with uh, Vizika in tow, 5, 10, 15. Vizika is no longer in danger of being dropped. Yes. And that's it for me. Uh, no extra attack? I did. I did. I you have it. You, you spent at action surge. Uh, yes. yes. And as part of uh, your well, attack, okay. you can. In that case, attack. in that case, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Diem. For that, uh, I will attack this uh, Most near gracious. my spirit. Uh, it will turn red. Red beats dead. All right, and that ends your round. Correct. All right, on the initiative of twenty, the lair action goes off. Uh, the lair action is all the spirits in the area. Five ten. Five ten. Five ten. Five ten. <laughs> uh five ten. And then uh this one over here that just turned uh red uh will explode. Right in front of Gareth's face. Bring it. I need to Oh my god. Jeez, don't, bring don't, don't bring it, bring it, bring it. I said uh, don't Oh my god. Uh I know you have like a little flower on your head, right? What does that do? Like uh, he can flower. he can Make spend it, it to roll a dexterity save at advantage if he'd like. Mm. <sighs> we got another fight after this problem, <laughs> brother. That's almost max damage for that, that, <laughs> that save. <laughs> so what, what are we thinking? You've got twenty six I... damage incoming. I will not use it. All right, give what? me that deck save. Normal deck save. Ah, I believe. Ah, you success. Can go. success. Only thirteen points is dealt instead. Pathetic. Pathetic. Can they deal fr different like friendly fire? Uh, well, you know what? That's a great question. So let me tell you what happens here. This one goes away, uh, and then this one turns red. 
Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> This is some. <laughs> this is some raid mechanics. I don't like this. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the ads are the ads are triggering the other ads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. Pile them more all dots, up. More dots. More dots. More dots. More dots. <laughs> more dots. Uh, now it is Cheats' turn. Help bar is tiny. Get him. <laughs> get him. Is that 2%? Get him. Get him. <laughs> Working on it. All right. Pat you on the back. She slides a bit too much and she falls over. Side to the left. Side to the right. We were First cross. You got seven Charlie charges. Brown. She does the her. goofy scream as she goes over the edge. <laughs> I believe that is 80 feet. Yes, it is. We are going to attack. Where the fuck is my... There it is. Good luck. You will never hit him. <laughs> and with that, 11, how do you <laughs> dispatch of the, the Keeper <laughs> of Souls? Um, she... I'm actually going to go ahead and sneak attack as well, just for damage. Uh, just for flavor. Because for she's going to... Lash out with this whip, um, and almost mimicking his own chains, she's going to pull him to her and sneak attack into basically his back, right? Mm hmm. And she's going to lean, you know, close to him and, and, and say, uh, you know, <laughs> Some say you worship in a god can be addicting. I've gone a, f a few rounds with addiction myself. You, you just gotta tell me how. How does it feel to, to die because of it? And as you attack with that, and it is a mortal wound, you will watch as his torso is just deeply impaled by the chained whip, the kinetic energy keeping the wounds open as your attack at the vital point seems to get him. His head falls back as he's... <laughs> and you'll see for a moment underneath the masked eyes a faint glow of, of, of purple. And as the eye, as his mask falls back, all you will see are empty sockets with shadow energy searing within his eyes. And he looks over to you. And he says, You judge me for my worship. Very well. <gasps> Shura, I give myself to you. I ask for your favor. Let me, let my action allow me to fight in your honor. Bring him to me. Bring to me my love, Ashura. Please, let me see him. Let me see them once more. And as he holds his hands out, uh, you'll sort of watch as flesh and sinew begins to form as if something was beginning to manifest itself. Something teleporting within. You'll watch as a creature as massive sized as this warden begins to form its back punched as it's as you see its mouth begin to form and you'll see uh, uh, yeah oh no no I'm just reacting oh, oh sorry 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 I thought I was doing something wrong and so nope. as you'll watch as this body is forming and the warden is just smiling as it forms and then you'll watch 
as his mouth fades and drops a frown and almost a terrifying gasp as he'll just say, No. No. No, what did they do to you? What did they do to you? As a corpse will fall onto the ground of this Uh. creature. As it lays limp, you'll watch as the warden holds its mouth ajar, aghast. And you'll see the shadowy energies begin crawling over him. And he'll just mutter. Deals with the deceiver. I should have seen this. Very... Your reaction to stop him (laughs) from talking? (laughs) Just ending it? Uh, no, and so the reason, if, if, okay, would you like to interrupt this moment? No. There you go. (laughs) Because you're just watching as the shadowy energies are sort of crawling (laughs) over him. And he'll just, he'll just state. Very well. At least I'll die with honor. And then that is where you'll see the shadowy energy just thrusts out as this corpse reanimates. And then vanishes and teleports back uh, also reanimated health back to full. And there I will reveal with the aid of Ashura. Vizgabog using the aid of Ashura exchanges his favor to call forth an Embrani he has close ties to. Valmorath. Vizgumong is fully healed and becomes Vizgumong, betrothed to Valmorath. Like, Phase three, baby! Uh, My gosh! Uh, uh, I will it? not be rolling an initiative for Valmorath. Cheats, it is still your turn. I will use my bonus action to free up my Ixel. <laughs> All right, reapply. Uh, the haste will stay. Uh, cheats, you're going to go ahead and take three points of damage. Essentially not getting the answer she wanted at all. She will continue her addiction. And that will be my turn. Uh, Vanya. Oh, at the end of your turn, you will watch as Vizgamog will just thrust their hands out. Uh, hold on, I have to change his, his name in the initiative. Uh, as his hands will hold out, uh, you will see a link uh, between Vizgamog and Valmorath. Uh, as he starts concentrating. And as the spiritual link goes, at the end of Cheats' round, you will watch as the creature just unnaturally just turns its head. Holding out its hand, you will see animate this scythe of spectral energy and grasping on. You'll just see as this thing just charges forward. Uh, attacking up immediately with the uh, with the staff. Uh, Fourteen will miss, and that will be the end of the uh, corpse's turn. Anya. Ooh wee, ooh wee. <clears throat> um, I would like to move. Oh, by the way, sorry, these spirits are now gone. Oh. Ah. Ah, that makes uh, my turn different then. That changes everything. Mm. I will. What is happening to me? Why am I. Why am I selected like that? I can't move my token. What did I do? Mm, I don't know. You might have. You make sure that you have the select tokens selected. You might have the target selected because I saw you targeting a couple of creatures, and that's usually a common no, mistake. It's not. Like token controls. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Okay. 
So I'll move here and uh, if I attack the warden, does that break his concentration? If that attack hits? I cannot answer that. Okay. Mm. Well, I am going to, again, uh, use one of my poison vials, if I can do that. Okay. All right. And uh, take a shot against the warden. Okay. Uh, a 15 is sufficient. I will be making a constitution saving throw now against the poison, uh, which will just meet. Uh, so 10 points of damage is dealt, and I will be rolling a constitution concentration check which will immediately oh. fail. <laughs> as it fails, you'll watch wow. as the corpse of Valmrith falls <laughs> down to the ground. <laughs> yes! And he just goes, no! Continue, Vanya. Taking my second shot against him. Wow. Uh, let me go ahead and check real quick. Uh, the 26 will hit, striking for nine points of damage, and you'll watch as uh, Vizgumog will look over to Vanya. And that, uh, actually, I can still get, uh, take a bonus action, right? Uh, correct. Uh, oh, sip just... in that Sentinel's Flask. Let's do One. it. Uh-huh. Uh, that's your second charge. Uh, One I will charge, yes. be rolling a 1d10, and you will heal for yes. eight health. Perfect. And that concludes my turn. Okay. Uh, Vizika, uh, you are no longer, uh, you are prone mm. because you fell down after the teleport. <clears throat> That's fine. I leap to my feet with five feet of movement. And that is what you do as you leap up. She hops up, she's hopping back and forth. And uh, she's going to start with the bonus action. Going to do a flurry of blows on this guy. Just stomping down on his head because he's he's down. Okay. <clears throat> is that? Because he's prone. Is that an advantage? Uh, he is he is considered an object, so you can attack at advantage. Oh. Well, amazing. All right. Uh, that will hit five points Wait, of damage. Is he, <laughs> is he considered an object when he's upright as well? He is a corpse. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Does it does it do anything? Uh, you are beating to the to, to uh, pulp a corpse. <laughs> it's emotional damage. Keep doing Take that. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> oh shit! It's gonna do emotional damage to the warden. <laughs> <laughs> um. From Flurry of Blows, can I move and then use my second hit after? Yes, you can. Awesome. She's going to be like, well, that was not very satisfying. All right. And then she's going to skirt, skirt, and uh, jump up and be like, don't do that. And then she's going to hit him instead. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Four points of damage. <laughs> and then she's going to... Bring back her Cordyceps and bring it crashing down. Well, she's gonna try to jump up and try to bonk his head, but he's very tall. Wow. Uh, five points of damage. Uh, Eleven and five. That both hit. Sixteen points of damage. She's, she's gonna do it again. Oh. Uh, that'll miss. Uh. And uh, I've moved thirty feet. You know what? I'm gonna disengage my way over here. Okay. That's my turn. All right. Let's see here. Uh, at the end of that is uh, is Mark's turn. You'll just see him. Just <sighs> not yet. Not yet. As the spiritual energies channel from Vizgumog's arms, uh, will command death. Huh? And you will see as the corpse reanimates. <gasps> what? And he maintains concentration. 
Uh, and there I can tell you that Valmoreth doesn't have an initiative because Valmoreth goes at the end of everyone's round. <laughs> that is his turn. Did your round end? It's now his turn. Did their round end? Did someone else's round end? Now it's his turn. Or now it's their turn, excuse me. Mm. So, they bonus action. <laughs> You'll mm. watch as he steps over here, holding on to the to the focus of the concentration. Um, uh, that will end Vi- uh, Vizgumog's turn. And at the end of Vizgumog's turn, the corpse of Valmreth will uh, once again uh, slash down upon Sheets. Missing as the uh, scythe Man. drops down. And then we'll sort of begin to sidestep. Uh, almost like a puppet being controlled uh, by uh, the, betro- er, the betrothed of Valmoreth. Marius, it's your turn. Okay. You have chains uh, wrapped around you. Well, I was going to ask, because at the it says at the end of his turn, the chains go away. Uh, at the end of... Yes, that is correct. You no longer have the chains. Ooh. Uh, because I wasn't dealt any damage, uh, my... Uh, I still have my, uh, or because my concentration has ended, because it lasts for 10 minutes, I still have my expeditious retreat. Okay. Uh, I'm going to provoke an attack of opportunity and rush and this you, mug. And you have uh, the, sl- the sl- mm. uh, slice, uh, slice will come up. Missing. Wow. Keep rolling I'm going sixes. To make, I'm going to make my two attacks against this mug. First one. Uh, that hits dealing Ooh. 14 points of damage. And then what else are you doing? Uh, his concentration trick. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I was I was waiting for your turn to end. Uh, it's still maintained. Understood. Ooh. I slam him again. Uh, that will be for eighteen points of damage. Uh, the, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Just the thirteen. The extra lightning doesn't go off again. Uh, and another Constitution saving throw. Concentration oh. maintained. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, Marius, seeing uh, his companions and seeing uh, what's been happening, he's going to try and keep Vizgumog uh, occupied. Okay. That is my turn. At the end of Marius' turn, Ooh. you'll watch as Vizgumog continues to motion uh, with one of their hands. As you'll watch as the animated corpse of Valmareth just <laughs> sidesteps around uh, Cheats, uh, looking as if to approach and then uh, once again dropping uh, with the scythe. Uh, the 16 does not hit Cheats' armor class. Gareth. <clears throat> He'll charge over to Vizgumog. Uh, give it up, you foul fiend. And I'll attack. Uh, that'll hit six points of damage. Let me go ahead and make a concentration check. Successful. Yeah. I will attack again. Point two will hit for additional six points of damage, which means an additional concentration check. Success. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> I will use my bonus action to high five Marius. That's all. Brothers to the end. To the end. All right. Uh, next round is cheats. All right. Um. Has anyone? Has anyone tried to hit her or him specifically? Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, Vizika hit them while they were down. Uh, but are you talking about while animated? The answer would be no. Okay. Uh, she's going to... (sighs) 
Mm. Uh, she's going to go ahead and attack once with her accelerated whip. Okay. Uh, that will not hit as it will deflect off of uh, the armored robes. It'll just kind of graze off. Right. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, then she's going to take off. Um, so this, this doesn't go off, um, because of your duelist, uh, but you will watch as they turn around and just slash up, uh, with their scythe as you manage to dodge out of the way. Letting you know that, uh, because, uh, the corpse of Valmarith goes after everyone's turn, uh, that means their reaction resets at the end of everyone's turn. Gotcha. Gross. We don't build up them damn damn charges. Yeah, we don't build up them damn charges, you see. She will stand next to Marius, making herself known that she is also there. Hello. <laughs> She also gets a high five. <laughs> and D- I will quit. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, ten I... will not hit. Yes, unfortunate. And I will bonus action cheat code. Cheat code. Uh, that will hit. I'll uh, take it. Six points of damage. Uh, you can apply bleed. Uh, you can also apply sneak attack. You can also I'll just charge it. your charges. Would you like I will. To, uh, eight extra points of damage. Go oh, ahead and give me a 2d6 roll. God damn. I'll kill him myself. Uh, She's undis- going for the hat trick. Additional six points. Give me a chance. Let me do some math. Uh, 613 is 19. 19 plus 6 is 25. 25 plus 8 is 33. Oh. The DC is 16. Might. Um, What's up? Might use my savage attacker to reroll that weapon. Uh, okay. I will wait until you decide. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll the uh, Chico damage. The cheek? Are you talking about the 1d4 weapon? Because you rolled a 2. Are you trying to get a 3 or a 4? I mean, yeah. I can't use it on any of my other abilities. Okay, and sounds good. Yeah, go ahead and I roll. I can use all. it per turn, so I'd like to... Yeah, go for it. Try to damage fish. I understand. Alright, give me that. Uh, I would just... So you're doing Savage Attacker? Um, mm-hmm. So just roll a 1d4, and then if it's higher than a 2, we'll take we'll increase the damage by that much. Eh, ah, you know. Did we not change. <laughs> so, you lose some, you lose some. Uh, I'd immediately Whoa! failure yeah. uh, as nice. the corpse once again falls, and an inspiration will be granted to cheats. Mm. You really yeah. this new uh, inspiration for me. Oh, uh, at the end of a creature's turn, you can spend it as a legendary action to make an attack. Or to, or to, to take an action, rather. Cool. Awesome. And, uh, that's my everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vanya. Hello again. Vanya will just position herself a bit better here. And, uh,. Take a shot against the warden. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Actually, hmm. Um. What is the initiative? Who goes after me? Uh, Vizika. And then? Uh, Vizgumog. Do you have the combat tracker up? Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I see it now. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, use my last poison vial. All right. 
and uh, I'm going to take a shot. A 25 hits. We got to do a couple of things here. I'm doing 10 points of damage. I'll be rolling a constitution save for the poison. That will fail. Doing wow. an additional 2d8 nice. points of damage. Three points yes. of damage dealt. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Vizgumog is poisoned. Hmm. <coughs> I take another shot, but it's not very good. Uh, the 11? Yes, that will actually grant an inspiration. <sighs> well. Well. <clears throat> well. That's not very good, and I'm sorry. Um, okay, yeah, I'll end my turn here. Uh, at the end of Vanya's turn, spending that inspiration, mm. you will watch as Vizgumog reanimates Valmareth with their inspiration. And Valmareth immediately at the end of that... Uh, actually, no, now it's Vizika's turn. You'll watch as Valmareth turns, about to charge over to Vizika. Oh. Well, <clears throat> wait a minute. If I just go, can I walk in this space? Uh, no, you cannot. <laughs> no, I can't scoot past him unless I do a flurry of blows. <laughs> Zika's little foot is tapping. She sees that he's up and not on the ground now. She runs up to him. Immediately, spending one key to do another flurry of blows, and this time, this time, she's sure her kick will do something. You're down to one key point. No, I, I should have uh, two left. Or two, two. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, four points of damage. Uh, it hits, and the corpse turns over to you. She wasn't talking to him. <laughs> and then the second hit is also on him. And then uh, with that, she's going to disengage and keep running to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Stop running around! She says after running around and attacks. Ooh. I got places to be, pal. Damn. I've got food to eat. I got <laughs> shit to do. <laughs> Kill this man. Eight, six, 14. <laughs> uh, the 13 uh, does not hit. Oh, it's 14 points of damage oh. and that's my turn all right at the end of your turn uh you'll watch as valmareth just sort of <sighs> and just starts r r just running five ten no 20, no 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 30. Wait, how uh, does he fit through those rocks it's you can step over the rocks and then he's get, and he's also oh, large uh <laughs> and uh as an action we'll dash 5 10 15 20 25 30 turning <laughs> over uh with a smile oh, no. wow. over. Wait, wait a minute i have a 10 foot reach mm -hmm. um <laughs> he wants really? your moans Vizica. holy shit the rulers are going crazy right now me one I love this. <laughs> oh, He's calculating. He's calculating. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm calculating. <laughs> I love, like, it's like Cheats thing. It's like a little feeler, like, wait, like a little <laughs> alien um, little feeler thing, like reaching yes, out. Yes, like, yes. So you, uh, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow through with that. Valmoreth would have done that. Uh, I need you if you're going to attack. You may do so now with your reaction. Oh, wow. Ooh. <laughs> As it is not my turn, I'm going to reroll that damage die <laughs> using uh, my Savage Attacker. <laughs> okay. Can you... Hey, that's way better than the... Yeah, Can you tell me again what type of one. rogue cheats is? Hmm? What type of rogue are you cheats? Oh. A cool I'm kind. a swastika clan. Okay. 
flashback. Uh, nine points of damage, but because the slasher that drops uh, speed by ten feet, correct? Ten points of damage. Uh, then the corpse of Elmerith would stop there with no more movement speed to spend. Wow. Uh, this Gumog, uh, is will still follow through turning and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and slash down the uh, the rackling. <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> Leave that rackling alone. Uh, <laughs> the thirteen, I believe, does not hit, but the twenty-one absolutely does. Fifteen points of damage is dealt. Oh. Oh my god. Um, oh, I can see her. Oh no. goodness! <laughs> Holy. Oh god. Yeah. What's? <sighs> is this turn over? Uh, one moment. Uh, the two it there. And then for the poison, let me check something really quick. Oh. Oh, until the end of your next turn, uh, which your next turn has not happened yet. So he would still be poisoned. Yes, yes, yes. And, um... Now it'll be the end of Vizgumog's turn. At the end of Vizgumog's turn, uh, the corpse of Valmareth will finish their step and go in with the Scythe Slash, dealing nine Ooh. points of force damage. Oh, shit. And redirect attack is only when they miss, right? With the key. Uh, I believe, are you talking about deflect attack? Or redirect, deflect missiles? Redirect attack with one key, it was a level six ability. I, I think it's only for melee, though. Redirect attack? Yeah. Hmm. Let me take a look at this. I see deflect Side missile. Melee? Drunken master redirect attack. Let me see. Oh, it's when they miss. Never mind. Yeah, no. Okay, you found it. I didn't find it. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't find it. Anyways. Yeah, you could have done oh. it with the chained hook, but. Yeah, but uh, it, it it can only be redirected to somebody that's within five feet of me, so it wouldn't have worked back then. He hadn't moved enough. All right, Marius. I I have a question, dungeon master. Yes. Could I um, activate, use my inspiration to activate a legendary action, but hold it for Marius's attack so that if it hits, we can do a sweet double, double hit kill? Unfortunately, no. But you can spend your action now to spend it, and then Marius can make his attack, and we can say that it's done at the same time. But as far as turn order goes, I have to uh, have you uh, I will take do your it. turn first. I will do it. It Get will it, be less cool, but let's do it together, brother. Um, uh, I will take... Uh, I get a whole action, so I potentially extra attack as well. Correct. All right, I will attack once. And then Marius, do you want to also slam down with the hammer and see what happens? Or, Marius? If we're allowed to, yeah. Yeah, oh, because the, the action would go off and then it would be your turn, so it could literally just... That can that can happen. Uh, twenty five hits, dealing six points of damage. You can also attack again. Oh another twenty five, another, another six, and then oh Marius, go with your attack. Uh, seeing Gareth lunge forward, Marius's front leg slams down, and with it, a bit of the earth cracking under the weight of his leg as he then brings the hammer up. There's the arc of electricity. There's the burn of the ignition blast, and I'm going to make an attack. <laughs> 14 is insufficient. Understood. Uh, and only 12 points of damage was dealt. <laughs> and with my extra attack, I swing again. Oh, yeah, oh. do that. Oh, Woo. there we go, finally. Uh, so how do you two, what is your, both your move to dispatch of uh, Vizgumog? Uh, given the... Given the, the sort of difference in weapons, I like to imagine that Marius's like first swing uh, sort of grazing off, and as it reconnects, he slams back to their midsection, slamming them down to the ground and allowing Gareth to aim for the head or aim for the heart. All right. And then Gareth, what would you do? Hmm. I would strike once and and hit him in the uh, in the waist, kind of aiming for a kind of lower section, which gives Marius the opportunity to land a blow, and then with a killing blow, as Marius pins him down, he would aim for the neck, 
and say, die, foul fiend. So as you go for the attack, you will watch as a uh, panicked Vizgumog will turn over and just hold out their hands as the mist will crawl over them once again. But you will actually feel contact made before they sift away into the mist. And on the other side, you'll just see a bloodied and like bleeding out uh, Vizgumog. It was just, it was just, <sighs> and you'll watch as they stare at the corpse of Valmoreth, just starting to just stitch away into the nothingness. Uh, the spell keeping uh, the corpse of Valmoreth present uh, fading away as Vizgumog witnesses uh, his betrothed just, just. <laughs> In, in just stitching and sinew into the nothing. And Vizgumog just kind of kneels down for a minute, staring as you'll watch him quake. Silence will fall over as Vizgumog stands back up, assuming a battled pose. And there... Uh, Vizgumog gains the trait defeat without forfeit. Using the last of his power is without power or plan, he struggles to continue to fight as his demise is near. All attacks against Vizgumog are made, uh, all attacks Vizgumog makes are at disadvantage. All takes, uh, attacks made against Vizgumog are made at advantage. All saving throws Vizgumog makes are at disadvantage. Vizgumog cannot use multi-attack. Vizgumog will heal 1d20 health and just simply become Vizgumog. No title. His demise is approaching. And he holds out his hooks, ready to continue the fight. Come. Come! Marius, it's your turn. Pulling free, like, wrenching the hammer now from where the body had been. There's that arc of electricity, the, the sort of afterburn of the ignition hammer. And as he turns to see the, the weakened warden, he pulls uh, the sentinel flask up, slams it into a port, and uses a charge of it. Healing for seven health. This is the end of my turn, right? Is when he did all that? Uh, Because I got yes. my two attacks. During your turn. Hmm. Uh, ooh. Leveling his hammer and beginning to march forward. Uh, there's the, the sort of pullback of the helmet as uh, he would make his move closer. With your death, I return some modicum of power to the Reaper. You will find no honor here, no glory, only a sickening defeat for a pawn. Does that end your round? Yeah. Gareth. Gareth will saunter up. Kind of... Kind of slower than he usually would. And, uh... He would raise his blade and say... You were a formidable foe. But that does not excuse all the evil that you have spread throughout our world. He'll attack. And he, uh, you can actually, actually reroll oh, yeah. it at advantage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just do an extra attack for now. Uh, okay. Uh, that will be 10 points of damage. And he just kind of, he falls back and just holds on to the hooks even tighter. 
and you'll just see blood just streaming down his arms. And then uh, he'll raise the sword for another attack. Let's see. Um, All right. Is that enough? The, how know. do you dispatch of his gamog? He would just take a moment and kind of coup de gras with both hands, plunging the sword down into his chest. Say farewell. Viscumog will hold on to the blade, looking up to you. I deserved no mercy, and you did not give it. Beware what approaches. And then his body falls limp. Ending the encounter. Well struck. As evil as he was, I can't but help that hope that he could somehow find peace. We mustn't tarry, for there is another evil to approach. Vesica. Vesica. Uh, How are you? Yeah. Uh, uh, that was... That was, uh... That was perfectly fine. I'm fine. That was fun. Fun. Yeah. Uh, with, like, shaking a little claws, she's gonna pull out her Sentinel's flask and drink uh, all three charges. Uh, wait a minute. That didn't work. That's okay. I will roll it for you. <clears throat> Thank you. All three. You yep. drink three, up. Three, eight, plus six. Oh, sorry. You got, uh, yes, six. You heal for 14 health. Excellent. Yeah, I'm fine. Not afraid of heights or anything. I really am not. I'm not. I'm not. But that was, that was a lot. That was, I couldn't see the bottom. Garrus will just be checking over your wounds. Vanya, anything you can do to help? Um, <clears throat> of course. <laughs> I'm gonna look. <laughs> I'm gonna look to Vizika. Vizika <laughs> looks up, big eyes <laughs> blinking at you. A little <laughs> smile on her face. Open, open. <laughs> 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 Please roll your cure wounds. I love how majestic the music is. And then there's just in the background. just <laughs> Same. Really love it. Love what you had for dinner last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> Made sure it was your favorite. Marius, what are you doing? Uh, having <laughs> turning, he would set the hammer down, resting on its head, so that way the haft and the shaft are sort of pointed upwards. Uh, and he standing over Vizgumog's body and seeing the other entity that had been summoned. Is that body still over there? Uh, Where it had collapsed, or is it gone? Oh, mm. the, no, it's gone. It's stitched away into the gotcha. nothing. And that's what he, the last thing he saw. And that's, you can kind of also tell how he was just like holding on to his hook that he was defeated before the final blow was even struck. Uh, like he has done with the Restless and the other entities of the who dare threaten Asmodia. His prosthetic hand would turn, palm facing downward, the clawed uh, ends that often glow yellow. Uh, all of the lights that adorn his armor begin to radiate that purple hue, and he's going to try and siphon whatever energy comes from Vizgumog. 
And as it, as the serene moment falls over the cliff, and you place your hammer, you'll just watch as it just and immediately, Vizgumog's corpse just dries up into a husk as you absorb this fiendish energy within your armor. This shall feed the forge well. Clenching the the clawed hand inwards, the arcs of electricity that strike up it no longer have that yellow hue, but are purple. Uh, and he would turn back to the party. Uh, still, although not showing his face or anything, you would watch as he walks up and reaching down, tapping a portion of his plate body, pulling out a vial and using cure wounds on Zika. All right, let's see. Another five health healed. I feel better already. Well done. I admittedly did fear for when he had you over the edge, but... Thanks for saving me. You gave us quite a scare. It was pretty scary, wasn't it? Cheats, what are you currently doing? Uh, she, Lethargy has washed her and she is currently on her knees, just kind of, <sighs> just like staring down into whatever the fuck that is. It is part of the breach. You are staring into the void, the infinite nothing. Yep. All right. She's kind of holding a couple of vials in her hand. That's all she's doing. Okay. Could I make more poison in the meantime? Uh, it would require a... Sorry, apparently... Uh, one in a second, my, my thing crashed. Uh, no, you cannot. Okay. But that was a good, uh, good question, yeah. Uh, give me one second. If everyone could do me a favor and not move, I would appreciate nope. that very much. You got it. Because uh, I was move, I was doing something, and then uh oh, my foundry crashed. So it's <laughs> I run up the stairs while the dungeon master's not here. <laughs> I jump over the edge. There we go. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Foiled. <laughs> Y'all handle this. I'm out. <laughs> okay, so you are so cheats as you're coming down. You're just being quiet. Uh, Mary, uh, yeah, you, she's just kind of like taking really deep, like mechanical breaths. Okay. Looking out into the, this void, holding her yellow vials in her hands. And Marius, what are you doing? Uh, seeing that Vizika is okay and that the other two are checking on her, uh, Marius would the the heavy footfalls announcing his presence as he moves to Cheat's side doesn't say anything for at least the moment and just sort of kneels down placing that uh, that hand on her shoulder and that's where you uh, remain and linger just sort of uh, not offering any words of comfort or anything just sort of offering the presence for now at least all right. As the f silence falls over, the corpse of the warden dissipates within your mace. As this serene moment falls at a place of, of devastation just by the breach. You hear it. as this repeating boom echoes through the area. And from the breach itself, you feel an unknown energy begin to surge. 
a powerful shadowy energy forms with that from the breach. What's everyone's reaction so far? Gareth does like a slow turn. Oh, I can't turn right now. Toward, towards whatever, wherever the sound is coming from. Okay. As it comes from over here. Then the rest of you turn as well to observe. I feel like, yeah, Cheats would like, uh, kind of turn to look up at Marius and like his hand, uh, reaching her own, hers own up and putting hers on his, she'll see his like gaze taken over here and turn to look. And as you look over within the area, the booming sound will stop. And then you hear it. What was that? As an undead fetus of a god <gasps> begins to form and move outside of the light. <laughs> Your fight is not done yet. <laughs> as a threatening present looms over to you. As the breach tears open, you'll see it flying through. An army of gargoyles just coming from the breach. There was no exaggeration. The threat has arrived, and you stand no chance against it. Oh. Run. I'm rolling initiative now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? That is the coolest fucking monster token <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Huge! Oh my god! Bro. Combat begins. Wow. Vanya, it's your turn. Is it now? Yeah. Okay. I run away. Wow. No. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Should, I, is that what we're doing? Are we running away? Are we really? Like, wh where are we running? Why don't we stand no chance? You what? are seeing a massive undead god floating in your direction. Yeah. It's yeah. powerful, yeah. overwhelming. <laughs> in fact, Run. I would say you get to make mm. a wisdom saving throw now. Excuse me? Oh my god. Really? Yes. Um, Vanya, is, he becomes frightened by the presence of the massive god approaching. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Vanya, while you're frightened, you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of fear is within your line of sight. You can't I... willingly move close to the source of fear. I can't move close to it, you said? Correct. Okay, but you okay, can okay. still <laughs> run from it. Uh... Straight I'm gonna go here. Can I, like, duck so that I can't see it? I'm sorry? Can I duck so that I can't see it? Y it is a towering Okay, gods. can I just not do that? If, uh, can I just end my, my turn here? Yes, you can. Okay, okay. okay. Keep running. Keep I, I, running. I, 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 dash. My five feet. Dash. Just dash. Dash. Use your action to dash. Vizika, it's your it's, turn. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, God. Well, okay, well, Vizika is going to run. <clears throat> She's going to use her action to run some more. And she's going to use a key point and step of the wind to run some more. All right. And that's, that's my turn. Okay. At the end of Zika's round, you'll hear its cry once again.
Marius, its voice echoing within your mind as it gives you a... One moment. There's a lot here, smiley face. Uh, it casts its special ability upon you. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Purgatorial oh. Horror. This is, this is an altered version of Confusion. Uh, this would have happened on the 20 initiative. It's happening now. And I need you to please make me a a, 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 a wisdom saving throw. DC, nice. you have to beat is 21. You got it, brother. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, at disadvantage? Uh, no. Oh, sorry. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh, no. Sorry. That's when you're, you're trying to get out of gotcha. it. You roll at disadvantage. No. You're going to watch as this green energy just surges all around Marius as he falls into a few states of confusion. Cheats, you recognize this as the blight that was afflicted upon the hunters you faced off against. As Marius's mind is slowly starting to be warped by the cosmic terror. At the end of that turn, can I use my inspiration to try to, like, jostle him out of it? You can. As an action? You I will can. Do that. So your your immediate reaction is just to get him out of it, correct? Yeah, she's just shaking his arm. Like, she's gripped his hand and is begging him to pay attention to her, to, to get eyes on her. Ooh, there's this... There's like the the mumbling, the muttering that comes from Marius as the the energy warps around him. His lights on his arm are flickering, and you would hear as he as he sort of tries to like pull himself away. You would hear the death bell tolls for us, even now. Marius, don't don't leave me, Marius. Cheats, what are you? What tell me? Describe what you're doing. She is like kind of clawing, tugging at him, slapping at, like, his armor to wake him up to to keep his focus here on her and getting them both out. With that slap, you see a flash of radiant energy surge over Marius from your hand as an aspect of your memory activates. Give me a wisdom saving throw. For you, brother, a two. Oh, sorry. Uh, cheats gives me a, a wisdom oh. saving throw. <laughs> oh, jeez. For you, brother, a six. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Cheats, oh. as you slap, you stumble a little bit. And as your eyes blink, you find yourself in a tower of old world technology. And for you, the Excuse player, <laughs> you recognize this as the inside of the spire of Euclid. Yeah! <laughs> and as you look around, you find yourself briefly within the body of a halfling. You look behind you as you see your friends depart one final time. And almost as if watching, you step forward to the command panel. You begin pressing some buttons as an energy of radiance overcomes. And as you Bye, return, everyone. as you return back to reality as cheats, you shake awake, believing it to be this, not the surge of deja vu, but something you believe you experienced once in your lifetime. Once in a lifetime. As the goddess Hyo's blessing releases from you. The benefits of having, sharing a memory link with a god of this world. As the radiant energy surges out... You will find that Marius's confusion immediately drops. But more importantly, your allies and yourself and Marius as well during this encounter is immune to the confusion effect that this cosmic terror That's can throw. 
as Hayo looks after you this day. You see, this is what Hayo is <laughs> meant to be a fucking doll, okay? None of them zealots. This is the true Hayo's blessing. The party's resolve is tested. Stalwart. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cheats. Uh, that echo it, in her head. <laughs> yep. Uh, that echo of the, you know, be safe, my friends of Hilo, saying that to her friends, now finds its way coming out of Cheats' own, like, lips as she calls out them. Be, be safe, my friends. And, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> do that. <laughs> what better <laughs> time? <laughs> Cosmic God, man, snap out of it. Watch me do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta do drugs. <laughs> uh, we, we've learned a lot today. <laughs> God, what and, a what a motivating uh, story lesson. I love it. Yeah, do drugs, kids. Uh, You'll see God. She's gonna take Marius's hand and try to travel as far as possible pulling him with her uh, 120 feet. For this round and this round only, Marius, if you choose to, you can move up with Cheats' full speed as you both run away together. So here, <laughs> here's the thing, Dungeon oh, Master. Oh. Here's, the, here's the little bit of drama. Yes. Does it look like my friends are going to make it? Uh, they're running, so I have no idea. Yeah, she holds out her hand and says, Marius, come with me. This is an, a, a, a horrible situation, I will tell you this. As an army of the shadow is quite literally flying above you, and this undead abomination that strikes fear and confusion in the hearts of many is approaching. You're not even surf, sure if Asmodia is gonna make it. All right, we'll move. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say, mm -hmm. if it looks for even a moment oh, I that like Gareth or Vanya get like nabbed he's immediately breaking out of her grip okay we're gonna go here okay and we're gonna uh dash <laughs> okay or it doubles my movement speed right correct we're gonna do another <laughs> 120 Holy. uh <laughs> big well goodbye everybody look <laughs> i can't math what is what is 120? 40. Okay, so we're gonna go 85 here, and uh, 85. God, you could go off map pretty. Well, this is almost too far. Even let go of your hand here. Ooh. Uh she would skid forward a couple feet and kind of turn back to him with these eyes of. What are you doing? There's two of the others. I'm not leaving you now. Right. Right. Cosma Tara's turn. Cosma is known in any books for anyone that is worshipped. Um, because a thousand years ago, the heroes of Io slayed one of these, uh, one of these ancient eldritch gods known as Cosmacara. This is their nasty brother. And that took three parties of level eight adventurers. <laughs> you are but one and level six. So what you're saying is I have a chance. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. find <clears throat> Well, let's find out. You'll watch as the entity starts to hover closer, approaching its area. You will see it glow from one of its sockets, this energy of pure 
just it's just pure energy. And uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna roll a one d six. Okay. Then. God damn it! Just roll one d five. Okay, cool. Yep. Cheats, as, as you're running and you're looking over there, you'll watch as this. You'll see this like huge hits will just sort of as this raw energy just surges down of uh, fire, necrotic, and lightning. Oh shit! Wow. Oh my god! Uh, you will deal uh, 15 points of damage as Marius, gonna, you will take the other 15. I'm gonna uncanny dodge that first so it goes Sounds down good. To In 15. that case, you will, yeah, you will then heal for. Eight, and then I'll put an eight over here. Ow. Yeah, she just goes. <laughs> okay. The gargoyles approach. Gareth, it's your turn. Gareth will run alongside Vanya and say. We need to go now! And he's going to use his uh, his bonus action to help try and move Vanya as far as we can. So pull her with her. With us. With me. With, with no resistance for this round and this round alone, I will let Vanya move up to your movement speed with you. Okay. Gareth will prioritize her positioning in front and move here. I did. My movement sucks. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> I don't have drugs. Sit. <laughs> you want some? Wait. Yes. <laughs> oh my yes. here. Jesus. Marius. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to hold my action to uh, to basically my the trigger being if uh, any of my friends. Look like they're about to be descended upon. Uh, I still have my. Uh, it's. I don't know if it's been ten minutes or anything like that, but uh, my expeditious retreat, so I can dash as a bonus action. It has not uh, been. It has not been uh, ten minutes. Fantastic. And then I'm basically holding my action for uh, to to sort of get them out of there. And if it looks like they're not going to be able to make it, then uh, try and pull them. Okay. Um, Anya, you'll watch as all of the gargoyles begin to descend upon your location. Can I use my bonus action to drag Gareth with me? Uh, that was from the previous round. We are now using resuming our normal rules. All right. Shit. Okay. <clears throat> Um, then I just, uh... Am I still frightened? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Uh, -huh. uh, -huh. uh okay. I am going to run and uh, use my action to run again. Okay. And, uh, that's it. Give me a wisdom saving throw to see if you break the fright. You fail. You are still frightened. Go. <laughs> Vizika. Well, <clears throat> um, above board, does running, like, off the edge of the map basically put me in the <clears throat> next map? Or yeah, so, uh, just so you're aware, if you make it to the edge of the map and decide to leave, you will be, you will leave the map. You will be removed from the initiative order because you okay. are assumed to continue to run on. Yeah. Zika's gonna kind of get over here. But also, and then... just just mm -hmm. just as a reminder um, for that, um, you will not be able to return this map if you depart yeah. this map. Yeah, she's just gonna run to here and then like kind of <clears throat> flatten herself against this rock and like look back with her eyes wide open, like, <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Cheats. 
uh, <laughs> taking that hit, she just goes... <sighs> and all of the, uh, the lightning damage, is, you know, courses over her, her lights are flashing, and, uh, she is going to... Uh... Stumble backward, uh, stepping towards the, uh, like, rubble here and prepare to, uh, take anyone with her <laughs> as her action who makes it over the rubble. Um, and I will bonus action do drugs. <laughs> Pog. Pog. My favorite. <laughs> You, you almost because took 30 get, parts. I'm sorry, if I get lethargy, I can't move a whole round. So what do you want? You want me to stand still? You want me to take no action? We're doing drugs, all right? <laughs> I extended that olive bridge to the warden who helped me with my addiction. He said no more. He didn't say that at all. Well, You're a liar. He said it. <laughs> All right. Did you, uh, would you like to, uh, uh, is that the end of your round? Uh, yeah, she's going to, uh, I'm going to hold action to assist when they get closer. To Understood. Me. It's like a chain line. It's a supply line. Come on! Come on! Just begging, pleading towards Marius. All right. Be sure to end your turn when your turn is over. Cosmic terror grows closer. What would I like to do? What would I like to do? Mm -hmm. uh, How about you don't do anything? <laughs> it holds idea. its action. So it takes yeah. the dog's action. It decides to take a nap. And Marius. You will watch as the eye charges once again. And... 32 to hit, 19 Ooh. points of damage dealt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Gareth. Uh, I will move as quickly as I can and yell to the group. Don't worry about me, save yourselves. Marius. Ooh, we're all martyrs. I love this. <laughs> uh, uh, bonus action. Two charges of my Sentinel's Flask, if possible. Uh, yes. You guys are way too far away. Yep. Remember, don't stand right next to each other. This is my peasant AOE. Yeah, I think, uh... I think even with Gareth's assurance, uh, he is... He's not gonna leave them behind. Uh, so he's gonna move up with his... Uh, with his held action. The moment they get close, he's dashing. The moment he can get his hands on somebody, he's pulling them the rest of the way. Okay. It's the top of the round. The gargoyles continue their approach. <clears throat> you all are about to be uh, overrun. As you'll see them just begin flying over to you all. Uh, this one starts making its descent. Anya. Thirty and another thirty. Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Bazika. <clears throat> Just gonna hold action dash. Uh, if someone goes, she goes with them, like oh. out. <laughs> Understood. That, that is it. Understood. 
and then sheets. Yeah, there's a just a a well of tears that come to the corner of her eyes as she watches Marius walk away toward like towards danger. And she just her brows knitting together in in this moment as she will wait. Okay. Holding her action, run out with them. Understood. Uh, be sure to hit end turn so I know your turn's over. Thank you. The creature descends upon you. Now, gently hovering over some folks. Uh, you will watch as its eye closes, and uh, its giant hand is going to lift up, and <laughs> as you just see this surge of seismic activity slam up. Uh, this this is attack for everyone, which is twenty. Uh, so with shield, your AC is now twenty one, and Gareth has a twenty two. This damage <laughs> is not dealt. Oh, God! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy right. shit! Holy Garrett. shit! Fear me! No. Um. <laughs> yes! Well, yes! yes. <laughs> Gareth will keep running. I and grab him. Look at Mary, Marius. What are you talking for? Get out! And uh, uh, bring him with him. That is my triggering action to grab onto somebody for my right. dash. So. Yeah, you get moving. All right. Can I take him the full 60 or? Uh, no. So you are moving your 30 feet. He was already had movement. So honestly, as far as the net goes, um, you it, it, you both would move up to here. This is the best uh, possible move. Understood. Yeah. Otherwise, you could probably like push him like 15 feet that way. But then I you'd push him 15, 15 feet. feet. All right. You move an additional 15 feet. And uh, Marius is moved back 15 feet. No! He just shoves. Oh, it no. <laughs> pushes you out. No! What the fuck? Marius is. Okay, Marius. Ooh, 65 feet, huh? <laughs> 65 feet, huh? Calculated. How did you do that? Run to me! I've got my trigger! <laughs> you know, we're all near the edge. If somebody wasn't near the edge, I'd totally sacrifice myself. But we're fucking going. I got you. Uh, that should have been my 60. That will trigger mine to try to get him to the edge. <clears throat> all right. You can move half your feet, uh, and um, Marius, you can move an additional uh, half, which, with both of you, will get you both out to the other side of the map. Is that what you'd like to do? Yeah. She would ask him. Woo! Then you both leave. And that would trigger mine, and she goes, woo! Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, Top of the round, Vanya. The and that triggers my anxiety because I can't. <laughs> so, uh, one second before Va Vanya goes. Apologies. Uh, yeah, the gargoyles start. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to watch as all of these gargoyles start landing um, and kind of begin gliding over in your direction. Uh, you're, Vanya. You're inspired, Vanya. What? You're inspired. You can take yes, an action at the end of somebody else's action. You can take action at the end of this. Ah! Do it! Go! Wow. Okay. Don't, don't push me like that. Um. <laughs> A god <laughs> descending upon us. Yeah, hey, don't push me. Oh, no pressure, like y'all. Get out! Okay. <laughs> get out of here! Get out! Get out! Um. Can I? Yeah, okay, I can. Um. Can I? Before, before I get out of here, can I just throw the bombs that I have on me towards that direction? <laughs> uh, sh you can throw a bomb, yes. One? Just one? Just one. <laughs> Why? Why? Up to 60 feet away, because that's how the bombs work. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, okay, then I throw out one bomb. Okay, you can throw it up to 60 feet away. 60 feet away then. Like, uh, does it? It won't be enough. As close to the gargoyles as possible anyways. Okay, uh, let me just so. go ahead and measure this out for you. So, yeah. with 60 feet, you can throw it up there. Uh, you will not target anyone uh, within the range of your bomb. That is some bullshit. <laughs> that is some bullshit! What, are, what would you like to do for your round? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't want to leave Gareth. No! I don't want to leave you! I'll be right behind you. Narrator voice. He was not behind me. <laughs> <laughs> but he said I... he would. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, um... I would like to... I would like to... Cast Guidance on Gareth. Um... Guidance does would not work. Or I uh, no no guidance resistance. Okay. So that will add a D four to saving throw if it gets to it. All right, you'll have to maintain your concentration. Okay. Um, but yes, uh, you just want before, and once before the spell ends, start can roll a D four. So I'm just gonna use my movement and uh, yeah. It's your inspiration. Inspiration. I get use my inspiration, and yeah, if I get out of there, then he's alone. Is that That's the end of your round? I'm... Yes. Please make a wisdom saving throw. You are still frightened. God damn it. <laughs> You'll watch as this oh thing God. just begins to descend <laughs> down upon you. <laughs> its hand reaching out. Oh, God. With a 24. 34 can points. I, yes? Can I, as a legendary action, like, stab it? As uh, I see his hand, like, descending, can I, like, uh, stab uh, that is, that is, uh, I like the way you're thinking, but no, it would have to be at the end of the creature's turn. Well, okay, at the end, as he's, as he's pulling his hand his away, turn, his, his turn is not over yet. Okay, 34 okay. points of damage is dealt between the two. Okay, okay. All right, and okay, now okay. that his turn is over, uh, you are free to spend your legendary action. Well. Do you, are you spending your legendary action? <laughs> well, shit. Uh, take a shot at God. Let's see what its armor class yeah, right? is. Just take a shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I do need to know. Otherwise, I have to move to Gareth's turn. You do need to know. Okay, legendary action. All I'm right, gonna so you're take spending the legendary action? Okay, yes, go ahead and I'm attack with stab your... stab a god. All right. Give it a stab. I'm stabbing it. Uh, 18 does not hit. Okay. Very you do quick. have a, you do have extra attack as a ranger if you would like to st attack again. Uh, I don't think that is uh, proper. I don't think I'm going to hit that thing. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> Gareth. Uh, All right, it's Gareth's yeah. turn. Oh yes. my God! Get out! <laughs> Can I what pull the fuck? her? What Wait I a second! This is my my turn was over. <laughs> was uh, you, the legendary <laughs> action was know, the attack, know, and you didn't want to do the extra. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gareth, it's now your turn. What did I move? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Can I do anything to move her? Uh, I have if, to she, if she accepts um, the grapple, then yes. I accept. All right. Uh, so me. you've moved fifteen feet so far. Uh, mm -hmm. You've moved to thirty feet, and with dragging her, uh, you will only move five uh, feet uh, with her, as your speed will be halved as trying to drag her. With. Um... Because you would have you already moved your fifteen feet, you have fifteen feet movement remaining. Forcing a move uh, will take half of the feet remaining, uh, leaving you only with uh, five feet to move. So you can move her five feet, and then you can move another five feet. But that's all you'd be able to do if you drag her with you, even uh, if you dash. And yeah, what about my and next using my? Oh, with the dash, uh, yes, yes. Uh, okay, you, okay. Yeah, with the dash, you both would be able to to get out. Okay, and that that is absolutely what I'm doing. All right, you would go ahead and drag Vanya. I'm and, being dragged. Uh, 
Oh, you, I'm you. Ooh. Yep. Hold, one second, please. Ooh. No, all good. Oh, um. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, and yeah, you would begin your retreat, leaving the area. You'll begin your escape through the town, as all you would hear is just the cries echoing before before you. as you would depart the Dark Ends with this undead, unborn god just floating over. You would watch as this army of of these gargoyles are just moving through and moving forward. And as you leave the Dark Ends, you will watch as this, this abomination slows to a stop. It lets out one final cry. As it hovers over the dark ends, it begins its slumber. Continuing from the breach, you watch as all of these gargoyles begin fl flying over the areas. Where do you go and what do you do? Uh, I think without even saying as much, I think Marius is just going back to Kolkirk. Like, uh, incurring... How how does exhaustion work in your setting? Uh, you can, you can go without, you can go without sleep for a day, uh, but then you start ticking down exhaustion. Okay. I think, yeah, I think he would just push, like, no resting taking the entire party trying to take the entire party and trying to push them towards Kolkirk. Like, they need to be born. We need to go. Ah, uh, drugs. Vizika would, <clears throat> uh, at Stop. some point along the way, r remind him, Warden, Wardenfell, or Wardenfall, whatever we called it. Them too. He nods in agreement. Okay. So you all would push for that? Okay. Gareth would just sit in the back and for the first leg of the journey, just keep looking backwards and making sure nobody falls behind. Uh, you would go ahead and ward Vardenfell of, um, of the danger that is approaching. And they're all just looking around, just stunned. And I'd imagine it was, it'd be a very quick warning before you would, you would continue to run. Correct. Yeah. I, I would almost see it like evacuation, like, mm-hmm. We, like, everybody needs to muster in Kolkirk. Kolkirk's the most defensible position here in Asmodia, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so as you would arrive over to Vardenfell, um, and yes, Kolkirk is the most fortified, you would arrive over into it, and you would see there's a bit more of a, a population. There, se there seems to be more people here, not less. Hmm. It's working. Good. However, comma. <laughs> I gesture back to the floating god. <laughs> um These aren't these are people that already appear to be panicked. Uh. And you'll watch as uh Warfin will approach you guys. He goes, Is the fighting over? I'm afraid it's only just begun. The warden is defeated, but something else came through. Something gargantuan, otherworldly. Is that what you were fighting in Kolkak? One more time? Kolkak. These people, he points to everyone that seems to be panicked. From Kolkak. They were sent here by hunters. I assumed it to be you. He looks back to the others. Uh. Kokok is fallen. We seem to have missed something. What? What, what has happened at Kokok? I'm, I'm uncertain. They said a threat broke through the walls. 
They evacuated Kolka, keeping the hunters there to fend off this threat. It was uncertain. Some say it was a man decorated in armor. Tell me it was the motherfucking peacekeeper. Must have <laughs> been. Tell, tell me, me Kolkirk <laughs> fell to the peacekeeper. Oh my oh. god. I assumed you had come to give us the all clear. We have not seen a hunter yet come by. We're going to Kolkirk. Do you push for Kolkirk? You will arrive in Kolkirk with exhaustion. If the party doesn't interfere, Marius would try to push. So it's if, if the party wants to rest, he'll relent. But if nobody speaks up... They can't have fallen to, to that thing. There were so many people there, so many hunters. We need to go. Right? We the do. The issue is that we've seen what's happened to our hunters recently. Mikhail and the others. Warped and twisted. I... It was even just a passing moment. Just the tiniest glimpse. But I saw Oblivion. If that's what they saw, I understand. We have to go. If these people can't go to Kulkrick, they'll probably have to stay underground. To even have a chance of staying safe. No more manning the walls. Not a sign of life up here. I think that's their best option for now. We have to move. Something's coming. Something bigger than what's come to Kolkirk. So He doesn't comes... even, He doesn't even understand how to how to how to like digest that. When it comes I, I don't know what it's capable of but if it sees anyone they will be dead very quickly where do you want us to run well there's nowhere to go Kulkuk was our bastion I'm afraid if you run you'll die tired take refuge in the prison Are the doors do not go to the surface until we return. And if we do not, at least... I'm not certain. I... I thought I knew, but I... He just sort of begins to trail off. Stay strong, brother. We'll get through this. Stay focused on the task at hand. Send the people underground. We'll come back for you. We're going to head to Kolkirk. What would a silent, uh, a silence falls over that as Werfen sort of stares at you with disbelief? Uh, that that moment of quitting, almost approaching, and then he shakes his head and gives you a nod, and says. All right, folks, we need to get everyone to the prison. Anyone that's incapable of holding a weapon to the prison, now. And Worfen will give you a nod to wish you good luck and wander off into the streets. My friends, we are at a low point, but we must keep fighting. We must see what's happened to Kolkirk. You'll press on to Kolkirk then? Would taking any short rests alleviate the exhaustion at all? No. Mm -mm. You're running on fumes at this point. Uh, with the way that you're pushing, you will arrive at Kolkirk with two exhaustion. Oh, and what does that do? <laughs> two exhaustion does the following. It's not good. <laughs> Uh, it is it is not good. Uh, you will uh, give disadvantage on all ability checks, and your speed is halved by the time you arrive to Kolkirk. How do 
like that. I don't like that one. <laughs> oh, like your seems just normal at that point? It's... Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you move 60 in one turn. Okay. We when, when you could... arrive to Kulkirk, you will be pushed to your limit. We could rest in the Colbeer ruins in the vault. Yeah. Like Eight hours before. will elapse for that. Mm hmm. <clears throat> It'll only slow us down if we're limping halfway through the rest of the way. It's true. It's useless to push on. You are willing to spend the eight hours in the in the coal bear ruins? Yes. I need confirmation of this. Yeah, up in the uh, yeah. up in the big giant yeah. vault. Understood. You will take your long rest. Eight hours will elapse. Your exhaustion is gone. Are you all awake? We need to go. I'm ready. Zika's shoveling food into her mouth. She eats two rations. <laughs> Understood. As you arrive through the tunnel and travel over to Kolkirk, you will just watch. Um, oh, this didn't save. Awesome. I love when this thing does what I want it to do, smiling face. There we go. Yeah, you're you're just gonna watch as the entire city is just <laughs> up in flames. Holy fuck! Just one peacekeeper. God damn it's it! One, <laughs> what, one guy came in and said, "Let me solo your whole fucking team." By the way, Jesus I want to kill him. As you. And as you look through the streets, you will see the bodies that have just been scattered through Kolker. Any of the town guard dispatched. And then for a moment, you see him. The last keeper's approach as his body falls to the ground. Defeated. And around the corner, bloodied, beaten. Cheadle walks up with their two daggers, wiping blood from their face. He just mutters, Yeah. Stay down. And he turns over to the five of you. Just silence fallen. You're... You're alive. Gareth would have been... Uh, would have collapsed to his knees as soon as he saw the city in flames. And at the sight of Cheadle, he'll steal himself and stand up and approach Cheadle. What evil has befallen Kolkak? This son of a bitch. He kicks the peacekeeper. Only him. All that was needed. The legends of the peacekeeper. <laughs> Let's just say they weren't exaggerating. This is so full. This is so full. Hey! Hey! He says, shouting over at Sheets. This is no time for pity! We have to. We have to form our ranks, see what we got left. Surely Mikhail will come back any time. And with the five of you. <laughs> Mikhail's dead. What? How? We did it. The thing. The, the thing that was had him. It was like, like a, a god of something or some of some sort. We we killed the warden, but it was. We okay, do okay, anything. slow down, slow down, slow down. One thing at a time. Why is Mikhail dead? What do you mean you did it? He was taken by the shadows. He was gone. He was consumed. His whole party attacked us. We we tried to talk them out of it, but they he, he holds they were his relentless. Hand out. He holds his hand out. Say no more, say no more. <sighs> he shakes his head a little bit. Shadows took him. 
what was on the other side. He turns over to you. Yeah. We built something in secret in the Shadow Vale. We thought it would be a turning thing of the war. We successfully managed to build a, a well-fortified fortress. And Mikhail was going to be its head hunt, hunt master. A guy on the inside. We were doing so well. We were starting to claim the shadow. Protect Asmodia. Not require hunters to be out here, but... If Mikhail was taken... Then the fort must be as well. He looks down. What are you else were you saying? What did you see? It was, it was massive. Floating with, with an army, army around it. Way too many of them, even if they didn't have that thing at their helm. Floating, floating what? Gargoyles. Oh, God. See, <sighs> gargoyles and a god. Okay. I don't know anything about no god coming from the shadow. What did it look like? It was massive. Fetal in appearance, almost. Fetal? That's Is right. it possible to project an image? Whoa. Yes. Turning his palm and supinating it from the gem in the center of his palm and giving it a small turn, uh, a, a the visage of this entity is shown. No, 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 what? No, and he's just kind of looking up at it. That looks like, that looks like uh, something. <laughs> he's, he's, he smirks a little bit. Uh. Old story told by goblins. Ow. These five goblin heroes went up and killed the god of a baby. And they called them Cosmocara. They cross reference a little bit. And it was one of the deadliest things that Io ever faced. And sketches and, and people who saw things that day. It looked like this. Something seems off about this one, though. And that thing came from the breach? Yeah. Tore through it. When we defeated the warden, only but a moment passed. And oblivion tore through. There's more Cosma? And the warden was terrified. He, he asked us to fight him, even though we were going to do that anyway, but he has this to fight him before he was taken over by it, so whatever it is, it's even stronger than... Well... A fiend told you this? <laughs> yep. He did. Uh. Yeah, well, he's dead now, but he was at home. He just starts looking up. He thinks to himself. <sighs> if there was some fiendish pride in it, then more than likely... Something that was an enemy to fiends, but you you, you were saying that fiends were flying out with it. Is there some sort of power struggle happening in the shadow? What's going on? But this thing is here now. Yeah. It flies over the moon cairn. The others that were there were dead when we arrived. Silence falls over for a moment. Before Cheadle mutters something under his breath. <sighs> He's dead. Who's dead? <sighs> Johan. Holcook Sutt Master. No. He's dead. Did they're he all, go? They're all dead. Slain by the peacekeeper. We should have gone after him. 
we'd have been more bodies. <laughs> Are you the only survivor then? What do you think? He just screams at the top of his lungs. The people that you sent to Wardenfell made it there at least. If that's any consolation. We're only delaying the inevitable. Is there any way we can evacuate out to the... Where can we go? Hey, don't fucking yell at her! It's not your fault! Damn, Io! Damn the Senate! We've been telling them this forever! I'm We're on the man! There's no I'm, way we can protect this! I'm grabbing him and just shaking him. Like, just... Calm down! <laughs> and then just kind of pushes you off. Let go of me! I just need a moment. I need a moment. Gather your wits about you. Before long, you'll be the next headhunter. And we'll need your guidance. <sighs> he looks over at Marius. Then we shouldn't go down without a fight. The night oh, yields like to a bright dawn. Of that, I agree. He cleans himself up. He says, very well. Then as the... He sighs. I guess the hunt master now of Southern Gate Breach. <sighs> Your trial is over. And I award each and every one of you full commission of Shadow Hunter. May the gods have mercy on your soul. Because now more than ever, we need survivors. We need hunters. We need to do what we came here to do. And I think that involves us fighting one more thing before we come back here. He kind of pushes through, and he just says, The Senate. We're going to Kathos. The Senate needs to know. And I need you all to come with me. Understood. I'll get the shard ship ready. How many people can we bring? We'll bring as many people as we can. And we will only be visiting temporarily to enlighten the Senate and their frugal matters. We're gonna need an army before fighting off against a goblin legend such as Cosma. We're not gonna be able to do this on our own. We're gonna need to find others. Capable. The hunt. We need to bring the whole army down on that thing. We're gonna need to prepare. Are you up for it? Looking at everyone. Whatever it takes to dispel this madness. Whatever it takes. All right. Then pack your things. Whatever's left of it. Meet me at the Shard Docks to the north. We leave immediately. And you'll just watch as... Cheadle will walk off. Prepare the Shard Ship for your journey. To the heart of Io's uh, political structure. The Ionian Senate in Kathos. And that is where we will end our first season of Into the Shadows Breach. Each of you all will be awarded uh, a level. Ooh. And if you would like to continue this game, 
a second season if you would like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> then for the second season. <laughs> what'd you say, Momo? <laughs> Momo, okay. what'd you say? I thought about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very successful. Very successful. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> holy. So, your. Because you've accepted this, uh, now that you've signed the dotted line, <laughs> um, you will actually have a pretty big responsibility at your hands. Because you are the first to see uh, Cosma Thara, uh, one of the three children of Cosma, uh, appear on Io. Which means right Yay. now, you all are the only ones that know that Io is in grave danger. Yay! Oh, so, my drug dealer would call me. I could inform him. I, <laughs> I dreamed of this moment where I get to go blow up the Ionian Senate. This is, <laughs> this is everything I've wanted and more, baby. <laughs> get away. Oh, it's a sending spell, goddammit. Oh, that... <laughs> Six oh. seasons and a movie, baby. All right. Let's go. Season one has been wrapped up. No deaths. No doubt. Uh, we no loot wow. Kulkirk, by the way. Wow. Uh, all the hunter weapons, we take them. All of them. Uh, all the Are armor, we, keeping we all take the bombs? it. This is important. Uh, go ahead and write a note uh, in our chat, and I will formulate a salvage. Oh, what? nice. What should We're... I write? 99 bombs? No, not the bombs. I'm talking about uh, Marius's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got it, brother. I know exactly what I'm going for. I have 96 bombs. <laughs> 96 uh, bobs. Hey guys, it's uh, Blast Bingo as well as some um, fan art. I have a question. Uh, yes. yes. Would Cheeto be able to be convinced to swing by Wardenfall, Wardensfell, whatever we called it, and, and take all the kids and yes. then ask the council to take the children? Yes. In okay. fact, uh, Cheeto would tell you, Cheeto would tell you um, that he's going to prep the shard ship. And you guys go to Wardenfell, and mm. uh, yeah, Good. get people I was, going. I was about to be like, we need to get the at least the old, the infirmed, and the young out of Wardenfell. Like, you will, you will be able to do that, and those that are capable. Uh, Cheadle would actually, in an act of his first uh, lead as the um, the master huntsman, uh, will make the hard call. That the only ones that are going to Kathos is himself, uh, you guys, to because you are the witnesses to see what has happened to convince the Senate. Um, the young, the infirmed, and the the unable um, who can also board the ship. But anyone that can hold the weapon must stay to defend uh, oh, the no. Southern Gate breach. Goodbye. So they because simply put, there's not enough room on the ship. But also, uh, if this thing starts stirring, it needs to be delayed as fa far as possible, even if that means sacrificing the lives of the people here. Cool. So. All right. We salute you. <laughs> <laughs> I will bravely accept your sacrifice on my behalf. <laughs> All of you may die. <laughs> That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Uh, Throw yourself against a god. It almost killed us. I'm sure you'll be fine, NPC with ten hit points. <laughs> uh, what did you guys think That's of the campaign? Generous. Did you uh, did you enjoy it? That was fucking oh, awesome. Yes. I had so I, much fun. I loved mm -hmm. all of the little moments where we got to expand on everybody's characters. Yeah. The the little moments of team building, the yeah. all of that was very fun, and the final fight uh, was very good. Thank you. I love. I'm a huge fucking sucker for multi phase fights. Yeah. So <laughs> when he came up a third time, I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going, baby. I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground. <laughs> <laughs> During right. his. 
fourth phase, would he had disadvantage and everything. If he yeah. had actually like managed to hit us, would that would have was it, would his attacks have been like Omega strong? No. No. Oh. No. Omega weak. Oh. Uh, it would have been the same, but he only has one mm. attack, and it's at disadvantage because he is at his lat. It was it, it's that last dying moment, uh, 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 essentially. So. All right. Sad. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, one last moment of calm and chat before the battle. I'd say yes. Gareth mm. thinks about Cheadle. I mean, technically, I mean, you guys yeah. saw him. Yeah, yeah, right now. A nat 20. Right. Vani doesn't take any damage this session. Nope, Vani took damage. I uh, took damage. Mm. No death saving throw. Wow. No one went down. You guys wow. killed it. A Lord of Shadow makes an appearance slash gets mentioned. No. Yes. Ashura? Yes. Oh, gets you mentioned. mentioned you are correct. Mentioned. You are correct. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking how all of them sleep. There I was three I was, that I know about. I was thinking yeah. about something else. Uh, oh, someone wow. experiences oh. involuntary oh. flashbacks, hallucinations, or voices. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Nat one. Yep. Campaign yeah, title maybe, drop. Maybe. Nope. Almost. Almost. Close. Almost. I, you said I didn't want to be the too brief. meta. Well. All right. Well, you know, no, uh, no bingo. Uh, the party finds the Sentinel's Fortress in ruins. Uh, no. Yes. Oh, wait. Yes. yes. Are you yes. with the dark? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like, only thing not in ruins is Warden. Oh, Fall. no. Who yeah. was there? Marius investigates the Crypt of Nope. Holy shit. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys unless there's a season two. Oh, oh, I guess so. Oh, oh. oh. The party talks about why they choose to become shadowers. No, but maybe that could be something we explore uh -huh. in season two. Ooh. Marius switches his armor form. Nope. Marius Ooh. cheats moment. Oh yeah. my god, they were roommates. Oh. Hand on shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Run with me. Don't go. Momo, do I check this off? Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, no. The Sentinels organization turns out to be villains. Oh, Holy shit. Yeah. 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 The twist. That'd have been Ooh. insane. <laughs> Anyways, cheat. No. Uh, Cheats <laughs> doesn't Wait use any of her except. <laughs> That's no. funny. More corporate Please. Sentinels are encountered. Nope. Cursed intro Oof. talk. Nope. We dove right in. The Peacekeeper shows up. Yep. Motherfucker. Oh, Vanya <sighs> uses her last silver bullet. Nope. Badass Gareth one liner. Yep. The ring <laughs> activates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. The party hears or sees the cosmic terror. Yep. <laughs> so close to 70. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, Damn it. So oh, many. Oh. refresh to get a new... new I mean, hey, hey, I mean technically, technically, technically we saw a bunch of dead bodies, and I mean, in the right light, the word corrupted could mm. be used. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I, I fell. I fell. Oh, no. You oh. <laughs> were tripped. I no, oh my god! Uh -huh. How'd Good you go knife. from holding a fish to a tray? Don't worry about it. Your <laughs> knife. <laughs> That's a lot of yelling. <laughs> Wait a minute, James. I love that. Ooh, ooh, awkward, awkward. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm yeah. beating the level. Okay. Oh there you go. Oh my god. Yo. Whoa. Ashen. You're so handsome. Got no. that oh. style. <laughs> Last. Last. Got Last. that Last. style. Last. Oh. This yeah, cost me an arm and a leg. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. I love oh it. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yay! Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> Cash. Cash. That is cute. Oh. I need a shirt like that. Cheats no mask. Oh. Yeah. Put some chaps. Girl, Girl, I got some chaps. Girl, I got some chaps. Girl, I got some chaps. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> Blap. Blip. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, Blip. Oh, the little <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> no. Jeez. Hey, that's your boss now, by the well, way. Oh, yeah, he is. Boss. Oh, he that's always been my boss. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gareth, we like need to have a talk mean? about fraternization. I'm afraid yeah, like, hey, you're hey, 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 this relationship. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, like, that's cute as fuck. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, oh, no. God oh, damn. Oh, oh, my, oh my God. Final sham. I need another print. I need, I need prints of everything. <laughs> Holy shit. I oh. love this so much. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> Maya. It's five o'clock oh. somewhere. <laughs> I do love how she's become the wine aunt. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, yo. Whoa. Oh, my God. Yo. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. Lady. Lady. <laughs> Lady. Yes. Damn. Dab, do all the drugs. <laughs> the drugs. <laughs> Do not attack me, but then. Oh my god! <laughs> so Don't look into those life. eyes, they're the eyes of a murderer. <laughs> so cute! I'm gonna teach you about taxes. Oh. Mm. Come mm. on. Love the nail yes. polish. What a nice lad. Right. Thank you, Gareth, for teaching me about taxes. Oh. You're very welcome. Oh! So dreamy! And I'm gonna teach you about fashion. Yes. Nice! Pondering nice. the arm. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> Oh man, mm. drags are bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she says she has a joint. <laughs> yeah. Stop that! Why are you not? Look at the board. Oh, what is existing? <laughs> the wits. The oh my wits God! The You're so wide. No. That's so I can protect more. Just some lesbian date and you know Gareth noodling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everything everyone wants in a session. A perfect date. Yes. Oh, Honestly, our downtime <laughs> sessions. Great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the goblet. My God damn! Oh. 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 <laughs> if a raccoon were to wear pants, oh, would they wear them like this or like this? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Love the drinking one. Kiss the oh god. my god! Oh yes. Yo, I nat won you the first cooking check. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, that's true. It's got the mac and cheese. It's got bacon, it's got bacon, in, it. bacon in it. Oh my god. It's got bacon in it. Oh. Hung over, oh, no. got the alcohol, always <laughs> drunk. What happened to Kila? Is that what I got there? Oh dear. <laughs> got the paper plates. The paper plates. Here for the food. Here for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. No. Oh. It's my it's my my little big boy. I love him. Oh. Cannon. I have an orange Cannon. boy. Too. I have a little like I have a little you see what you have. A healing potion. <laughs> no. No. This is mine. <laughs> Let me see what you have. A knife. No. Yeah, I can see colors. <laughs> She said, oh not a lie. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so adorable. Wow. <sighs> Laid out. Marius, in the middle of doing something, realizes he has to just lay there. I'm falling and my limbs are off. <laughs> e and P. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I hate it here. What the hell? Yes. Oh my god. Oh. We'll get her some ear mods on the on the yep. flight to the Ionian uh, Center. <laughs> I'm judging. Dang. Oh my I god. Love, I love all of these. So much so judging. That's right. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. 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 The hip. The oh. hip. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Monk crew, monk crew, monk crew. Y'all, let's go. The... Oh my god. She's so small. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> gosh, I love this style. I love I it. I barely love fit it. in this armor. <laughs> <laughs> when you miss your shot five times in a row. When winded. When winded. <laughs> when no grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's so good! Holy god. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, Get your head out of there now! <laughs> oh no. Oh, Went down. Oh no! Me! Taroo, brother! But no goblin boyfriend. No! <laughs> oh my god! Truly the worst oh, one. Frog! 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 Is Frank <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh.
Oh, yes, no. I am omniscient. Oh, no. Oh, oh. no! I think I forgot oh, no. something. Wow! Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Never! That would never happen. This reminds you of the Charmander episode. Stop. Just because I didn't nat 20 her dagger doesn't mean I forgot my about fire. her. My God. My fire is going out. Here lies Marius <laughs> got owned by a twink. Yeah, it was Yo. What the? Holy yeah, shit. I got... Uh, Hellebore and I 1v1 and I got fucking sl like stomped for three mm. rounds. Oh, wow. Damn. I got obliterated. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. She's so uh, cool. Uh, also, uh, Cheats and Vanya Victoria. Hey! Oh. Hey, what? Oh. what? Hey, what? What? Hello? Oh my God. So many Hello? styles. Hello? Holy. Hey, it's me. It's me now. Hey. It's me always. Don't, don't wake me up. What's wrong? I'm with so angry. <laughs> oh my god. You know I gotta love when I get fan art. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, that's cute. That's right cool. My god. You, someone needs to caption this. What did he hear in the <laughs> oh, no. What did the, we say? All the emotions. All the what emotions. do you mean you want another downtime session? Please! <laughs> <laughs> We gotta move on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. You. That shirt? What? That Who am I posing for? Drug. Cat couple. <laughs> just don't us all the time. That's I just am in your drug. home. Uh oh. oh. I'm in your, please don't be in my home. My god. <laughs> Get out of my home. What if your uh, suit had like toe beans though? You know? Oh. What if no? Like, you got those little toe beans over there. Curse me yeah. in this crush. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little beans! Ooh! Whoa! Yo! Yo! Ooh, nice. Trying to steal my job? Tactical cheats, oh, holy okay. fuck! <laughs> Very cool. Oh! Yo. Squad! Yo. Squad, squad, right squad, right squad. 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 squad! Wow! Is this a Kirby fan art? <laughs> what have you done to me? Where is my body? <laughs> Jeez, I'm a, I'm a crocodile. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. Gren Gren. That's what's happening. Oh, Gren Gren. I love drugs. <laughs> Guys, oh that expression God. is amazing. Fuck. Holy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and here comes a massive gun. Aww. Aww. Romantic. Good ending. Oh. Good ending. Mr. Marius, are you asleep? <laughs> what? No. He no. won't judge. Oh. Trust? Trust? Cute. Aww. Very cute. Hugs. Look at this. This is what we do in the apartment. We okay. just close. <laughs> <laughs> Drug. She's been gone for eight hours. What oh. is she doing? Oh, this is so cool. Yo, that's awesome. Love the colors on that. My God. Like <laughs> like oh, that day. was literally <laughs> last week. That's what I've been streaming for like ten last hours. week. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up true. and saw Crown was still streaming. I was like, "What are you doing up? <laughs> we got a finale yes, day. Oh, no. God damn it." Oh my God. All stream from the same large conglomerate. That's right. Brother, you're Ooh, Phantom Itch. True. Ah. Definitely something I should have uh, role played more because that would have made total sense. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That was sick as fuck. Artificer Con 2020. Oh my god! <laughs> all the homies! Sponsored by please. raccoons! Please, yeah. I would love I would love nothing more than to meet all the other artificers in IO. Please, I beg every, you. Every oh uh yeah, four to five uh campaigns have artificers. Please. <laughs> please, I wanna meet Howie, I wanna meet Zug, I wanna meet Eli, Zug please, I beg you. Alright. Is Trask isn't an artificer, right? Correct, correct. He's just there with his brother. He's there with his brother. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, cool. She's like, I love my brother. All right, hold on. We have more fan art. Oh, oh my god. My. We're not done yet. Oh my god. Oh. Spoiled. You got it. Oh my god.
That's cute as fuck. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh! oh. oh. Nice! Oh my god! I love the little Nirvana symbol. Guys, I gotta, I gotta, I got a soft spot for for camp fan art. Just FYI. Oh my god! I love it. It's a shame that Asmodia definitely cannot have that. Like, like the armor in the background. It looks like a forlorn. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, shut up. What? Okay. She's dripping what? out. She's got the drip. Respectfully. I'm dripping my all gosh. over. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> no, it was sufficient, I promise. Good enough. <laughs> Yeah, it was efficient enough to kill him twice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sniper, yeah, no, right. just a really long barrel. Oh, shit. That is a fucking silencer. My God. Big suppress. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. Oh, my goodness. This is my Big new album, yo. Guys, do not remove an anime girl's hair vents. Come on. They'll overheat and it's die. Oh. Facilitating gas exchange to control body temperature. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, the cheat code. Yeah. Ooh. Shit. Oh, Quip. Oh, oh. oh. selfies. <laughs> He's so lethargic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh him. Look, Look at that handsome man. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, oh, so by the way, uh, last week we celebrated IO's fourth year. Running, wow! Yeah. I've been love for four years. Happy four years! Congrats. Thank you. And Bearbot made uh, mm. made this. Oh, oh whoa! So, uh, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a minute. So this is oh, literally God. through the times of, uh, I guess, phase one to phase. Brett. Yeah. Ghost Do you remember all of their names? I'm gonna say, name every character now. <laughs> uh, that is not something my brain is gonna do right now, but I would wow, love to. Wow, fake DM. Wow, wow. I'm old. <laughs> that was so good. Uh, so that's, oh, this is phase two. We're getting to phase two. <laughs> Oh my god! I can just see head. Homer Simpson there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yep. Mr. Money, dude. Yep, all our, all our, our oh all of our phase two. God. This is so oh. amazing. And now we're getting to phase three, which is nice, awesome. Nice. Oh, my like, like. oh, yeah. oh, oh god! Look at that. Wow. <laughs> and we should be approaching. Why does that child have a knife? I see a cheat. Ah! Oh. I see us! I see us! Oh, you guys are. Oh, you guys included the uh, oh. our fishing game too. Oh my god! Oh. There's, oh. there's oh. crown oh. twice. I am a bear. I am a bear. <laughs> um, I am happy to announce, and I guess unhappy for some people, that the fishing campaign does not take place on IO. Ah. So just a little FYI. Yes. Yes. I love it. Yes, that is absolutely true. <laughs> Um, anyway, so what were you saying? Um, yeah, okay, so there's me. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, no. there you go. Uh, cheating. Okay. Not cheating. Over here, God damn it, man. That one, was, that one was uh, Sugma over there, and that one was Victor, <laughs> and they got Zug over here. Right there. Is that Barry? <laughs> Amazing. That one, is <laughs> Barry? Oh, my, no, it's, oh, my God, they included Barry. That's so funny. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> <laughs> we released some um, April Fools ones, April first for everyone. By the way, um, really for free uh, to everyone on the Patreon. So oh my God, look at their, their hands. hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's of of, of of desperate healing. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, I smell like <laughs> how horrifying a statement, by the way. Oh my gosh, no wrestles here. Yeah. Oh. Fish. <laughs> She's got a gun. Robo blushing. <laughs> Robo oh, blushing. Oh, <laughs> bringing her back. Oh, wow. oh there she is. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. So cute. <laughs> Gangster cat teach. 
<laughs> Nay, suave. Babe. I have 96 bobs. <laughs> <laughs> also, a revelation Why? midstream. The fuck? Why do you have so many balls? <laughs> yeah, well, I have, a, I have a thousand balls. Oh, so. no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's how it should have gotten done. That's how phase yeah, one should have ended. See, this is, right, what right, right. this is exactly what happened. I wasn't talking to you and I was crying. That's exactly <laughs> oh. what Homo did to me. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's the receipt? Can you see that? Is there there? <laughs> no receipt. <laughs> this is it. Uh, hey, yo. Holy Inkling, my man. Holy fuck. I'm, I'm glad we got to revisit. <laughs> we killed that? I, uh, yeah, I'm glad we got to revisit the ward, and that was fun. We, we could have fixed him. We could have made him a friend. We could have fixed him. Fucked up. You, <laughs> I don't know. You got some hot people in your group. Look at that. Yo. That looks so yeah. fucking cool. Oh what my god, that looks so cool. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Every time, they do it every time. <laughs> Gangsta Cat Mario. Yo! I'm excited <laughs> to reveal our first Cosmatara fan art. And oh. this is it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit, uh, Cosmatara <laughs> was drawn uh, by Storm Rider. Oh. And Whoa. this is the official Yo. art we made. We God, it's, what a, it's so good. It's what a fucking so horrifying good. creature. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. not fun. No. That is some darkest dungeon level It's got shit, a cropped like. mouth. Yep. <laughs> I don't like that. Stay <laughs> safe, oh. my friends. Snort. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I heard you interpreted the world. Oh no, this is small. Oh, 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 my god. oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck you. Holy shit. Guys. <laughs> Please. Cole Kirk Slaughter. Oh, Jesus. Pog. This wow. fucking guy. Wow. This fucking too soon. Guy. Too soon. Ooh. That's the plan. That's the plan, <laughs> young grand. Uh, oh, man. First thing Marius sees uh, when <laughs> he comes to Kekos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Uh, as ads are now oh. playing, we've been streaming for about five hours. So now it is time for me to say... Bye bye everyone. Oh. So thank you guys so oh. much. Hope you oh all God. enjoyed this campaign and I look forward to uh presenting you with a second season. Season thank two you so much. Starts tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> See you there. It'll shit. be a it'll 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 be a minute. It'll be a minute. We, we gotta get some shit together. Um understandable, but, brother. Um but while we're waiting because of the, the ad break that happened. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a, a repeat of what happened in phase two when uh, Cosma Kara was threatening to come to Io. The only problem is Cosma Tara is an Io. Um, but with the Shattered Planets and the fact it takes a lot of energy for Cosma Tara to do anything, uh, Cosma Tara is currently slumbering up on the dark ends with a um, with an army of uh, vampiric gargoyles and... I will let you know because this was kind of revealed in Curious Curios. Um, one of the Lords of Shadow has accompanied, um, has accompanied uh, Cosmatara, trying to weaponize them to bring Io into the shadow. So this is a pretty big fucking deal for Io, and it will require a uh, you know Gondor requires aid kind of mm, gathering. Jesus. So it will be your responsibility to try and reach out uh, to as many powerful adventurers as you can uh, and try to convince them. Uh, that means reaching out to all of the other parties that is currently active in IO. And uh, some of them uh, might not take the call. So <laughs> you, and then you'll have to decide there. Yeah, so then you'll have to decide there uh, whether you uh, will press or on. Or we let them live or not. Yeah, or wow. if Asmodia will be no more, so. Yeah. It's fine. Indeed. There must be other places to live. Indeed.
All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off this call here and say goodbye to chat. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the game. For the awesome. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.